Yo, whoa, what is going on? Twitch.tv slash it IVE. It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. I'm pretty guys, the best in Pokemon streaming content in probably the entire world. We are doing Radical Red today, the final chase before the Elite Four, assuming I don't get absolutely wrecked. Dan's up early today. Oh, bro, I've been awake for like three hours, homie. <laughs> What's up, Tails? Thanks for 16 months. How are you today? And thank you, Mr. Pug. For the love, what's going on? Hope everyone is uh, is doing well today. I hope you guys are doing awesome. I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh, have a good day today. Very excited to jump into uh, Radical Red. And uh, I'm streaming early today. There's a couple reasons why I'm streaming early, and I'll explain that very quickly. I do know Shady beat Radical Red. I was actually watching uh, his Elite Four run, so you don't have to tell me. I'm very happy for him. I messaged him congratulations, and I was really happy to see that he did so well. Uh, it took him, I think, 31 or 32 attempts to get to the Elite Four, but his prep was spotless in the Elite Four, and I think that that just shows, um, one, how, how uh, good of a prepper he is, um, and two, persistence, man. That's really cool. Um, so it's my job now to try to beat it myself. I have a really cool idea for the Elite Four already, but I have to get there, and I have to not lose the Pokemon that I need on the way there. So that's what today is about. Today is the last couple battles before I get there, and then we're going to hope that uh, I don't uh, get wrecked. Uh, Lands, thank you for the three months of love. What's going on? And uh, so the reason why I'm streaming early, I'll give you guys kind of the, the basic rundown. Hey, Tails, thank you for the five gifted subs. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you. We are not doing the Elite Four today. I am going to take at least a few days to prepare for the Elite Four. We are going to get up to the Elite Four today, basically, is my hope. Um, if all goes well. I don't know if... I mean, that's the hope. I mean, at any point, something can go wrong. But that's what I'm hoping for. Thank you, Tails. I appreciate that, man. Thank you for the five gifties. So the reason why I'm streaming so early today is pretty simple. I uploaded Shining Sword this morning. I told you guys in Shining Sword, which by the way, please no spoilers. Uh, basically the gist at the beginning of the video, I said, hey listen, Shining Sword is delayed. Not gonna be able to continue it, so we're gonna launch a new Let's Play. Um, I wanted to give the comment section a chance to give some more feedback. So, cause I need to record a new Let's Play this afternoon for tomorrow, that's my plan. So I wanted to give a little bit more feedback there. Um, before I made the decision on what I'm gonna play. So if you have any really good suggestions for what you want to see next on the channel, uh, throw it up on uh, on YouTube. Reborn redo. I, I don't know why people commented to do reborn again when I've never done reborn in the first place. So I'm really confused about that. I did see a comment on that. I'm not doing Kaizo, guys. Kaizo is not a casual let's play. Like Kaizo would be a replacement of Radical Red that I would do on stream. I'm not gonna do a Kaizo let's play for YouTube. That doesn't really make sense. It's, Kaizo is not an entertaining series. It's a challenge, right? It's a challenge run. So it's a very different thing. So suggesting Emerald Kaizo doesn't do anything. Suggesting uh, games that I've already played doesn't do anything. Suggesting a Wonderlock in Pokemon Shield. I'm never gonna entertain that. Um, so, you know, I, 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 maybe I should have been a little bit more specific in the video about the things that I would be open to, but, um, you know, I'll just, I'll just go through the comments and I'll make a decision. If you want to leave a suggestion, put it in the comments section. Thank you, Lance. Thank you, C. What's up, guys? Uh, I'll put aside a pack for that. We are going to do packs every 10 subs, hopefully today. Wraith, thank you so much for the 14 months. I hope you're doing well, Wraith. Shout out to see you, man. So let's, um, let's just jump into it, man. I think that, that we're in a good spot here to jump into Radical Red. This is kind of where we are. Uh, I've got my team picked out for the next rival battle, which is up next. I've got the team picked out, so it's just a matter of training everybody. So let's start with that. Um, you know, I think I think we're gonna be in pretty good shape here. Um, we basically have we basically have like three boss battles and victory road up ahead. Some of them are a little harder than others, so we do have to be very careful. But um, I think we can make it work. So you're good. You're good. I think. Half the team is probably already trained for this battle. Let's see. Um, I might not have to do a ton. I just have to see where everyone's at. And I have to kind of get back in the vibe. So you're max HP, max attack. That's fine. That's all I need for you. Um, you're max speed, max special attack, which is fine. That's all I need for you. You're max HP, max attack. So that's not what we want. And you're max attack, max speed, which is fine for this battle. Uh, actually, no. I want you to be max HP, max... Um, probably defense actually we're gonna wipe that um, and your max HP max defense which is okay um, I guess that's okay that gives me a better electivire answer I may want to tweak that though so let's let's uh, wipe some of these stats and get started on training this let's see where we're at what's up dang how's it going man thanks for tuning in today oh, I had a repel one Okay, so let's see what we want to do here. Um, so you, I need to get rid of your attack because you definitely don't need attack. 
Um, and you, I want to get rid of your speed. Because I'm not really utilizing you for speed in this battle. And actually, I'm going to get rid of your attack as well. I don't really need your attack in this battle either. And then, you're fine, you're fine. Do I want you to be physically defensive or specially defensive? Probably specially offensive. Because you're, with with Swampert on the team, the Meganium becomes more of a Blastoise answer than an Electivire answer. Um, yeah, I'll put different music on. Like, Meganium becomes more of a Blastoise check. But I mean, Jimmy's a Blastoise check, right? Like, I have a couple different Blastoise answers. Um, Jimmy's the main one, though. Because he's going to come in and go for Giga Drain and have a Salt Vest. I'm actually curious on that Calc. And he doesn't have White Herb. And he's Mega Blastoise. So that's interesting. So he will be negative. He'll have a negative speed on that. So I wonder if you... Um, I'm pretty sure he always Shell Smashes for the most part. So if you have Ludicolo at level 82. And you face level 82 Mega Blastoise. And he's not even Offensive Invested. Uh, or Bulk Invested rather. And you go for Giga Drain, and he's minus one special defense. Yeah, so you can actually you can actually get really close to one shotting. Um, if he shell smashes, and if Rain is up, you, you're gonna be able to do that. Um, and if you have Energy Ball, I think you get the KO. Yeah, Energy Ball does get the KO. So that's something to make note of. That if I ran Energy Ball on him, that'd be probably pretty good. So I could probably keep Kaylee physically defensive. But Kip is going to be there for that. Yeah, I think I keep it physically defensive. Because realistically, I'm just going to go for the energy uh, for that anyway. So that's fine. Okay, so what I do need to do, though. Let's um, let's train these mons up. I'm going to need to get a lot of money, though. To be able to do what I want to do. I think. Yeah, pretty sure. So. Alright. Um, I'm going to call you good for now. And you're good. And you're good. So I need to get your defense and your defense, and then I need your speed. Uh, I think I just need HP on you. I'm gonna deposit you. Let's get defense on these two first. Let's do that. Hey, what's up, Vadix? How's it going? All right, so we want uh, the power belt, I'll give to you, and then the power weight, I'll give to you. So I'm just gonna make a max bulk physically defensive for both of them. So that's what we want there. And he just needs the defense. Okay, so let's grab some defense and some HP. Let's see before I do that. And I actually need to get some money really badly, so we're gonna do that after this as well. What's up, A-Rob? How's it going? How you beat Surge? Um, some very strategic switches <laughs> is the honest answer. Okay, so he's getting a lot of HP and you're getting your defense almost there. So let's grab another defense. And we could just beat up this Colossal real quick. And then I really do need to pause to take some time to grab a significant amount of Poke Dollars. So he's almost, he's max HP and he's max max. So he's good. So now I just got to swap their items. And then I just got to train him in uh, defense. So two rounds of defense battles here. And then, you know, Kip and Polly will be good. I do have to tweak some of their stats, but it's all right. And then one more defense battle and we're good. Or you find this just search radical red dude. Um, I can just power punch. Okay, so that should put us to be done training for those two. Um, I'll heal. And now what I gotta do? At least they're done in terms of their stats. Now let's take care of this magneton that I gotta deal with. Um, you're trained. You're trained. You're trained. I just gotta get Magneton now. All right, so Magneton, we're gonna do max, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it was max HP, max special attack, but I gotta just double check that. Um, I wanna see what Magnezone needs to outspeed. If I'm level 82 Magnezone, how much do I need to outspeed Staraptor? Straptor is Jolly Nature, so it's max speed, level 80. So we need to make sure we calculate that. That's 264. So for us to hit 264, I do need, I think, max speed. Yeah, so we need pretty much close to max speed, but we could be max speed modest and max HP. 
that was the set I was gonna run. Max speed, max HP, Magna Zone. And then you really don't need anything else because you just run Volt Switch and you run Hidden Power Fire. And I think that that puts you in a situation where you you really don't don't lose to the Kartana. Yeah, because you can Volt Switch and always KO the Staraptor in that situation. And then if Kartana comes in, which is what you want, and he's max attack. And he goes for a Leaf Blade, which is what we're assuming. He does 23% if he's not critting you, so you're in a really good spot. And then you just hit Power Fire and blow him back, even in rain. So that's perfect. Okay, so we want to be max speed on Crazy Steen and max HP. So let's do that. What's up, D-Crane? Thanks so much for the 13 months of love. So let's get um, max HP first on you, which I don't really have good attacks, but we'll use Gyro Ball. So we're going to get to max HP. Thank you, D-Crane. Thank you, Gaming Inc. for 12 months of love. I guess I'll Zap Cannon. And we'll get max HP. Zap Cannon. Everyone's favorite move. All right, I'm out of attacks. I'll just rise up like a magnet. All right, so you're good there. Now we're going to max your speed out. So we need the power anklets, which is here. And again, this allows me with a choice scarf to outspeed the Staraptor turn one and just go over Volt Switch, right? Um, it also gives me just an option in general to outspeed Darmanitan later in the battle if I need to and Volt Switch out. It gives me something that can outspeed pretty much everything, right? So it's just really solid in that regard. I think just one more speed battle. All right. And then I'm going to have to take a little bit of time to just grind because I actually need Poke Dollars. I don't have any money. And I need a lot. I need to max this thing stats. Oh, I have struggle. Oops. Okay. I need to max this thing stats so I can get Hidden Power Fire on him. So let's see where we're at with Hidden Power. Uh, hidden Power Fighting would also work. Wait, tell me it was Hidden Power Fighting. <laughs> I think that's good enough. Let me just calc that. I think that's good. Um, That's so funny. Okay. Yeah, Hidden Power Fighting is good, too. That's okay, too. It doesn't have to be Hidden Power Fire. It's, it doesn't matter either way. And he's got Magnet Pull already. Um, if I'm a B speed, though, what does that make my speed? I have to make sure that I don't have to max that stat anyway. Let's look. Uh, 20 speed IV. So if I'm 20 speed... Puts me at 171. And I need to be... Um, I think that's fine still, though. Staraptor, level 80, max speed jolly. Hits 264. Okay, so I do need to fix that stat. So remind me that that needs to be fixed before we pr proceed. I think everyone's EV trained now. Your max HP, your max HP, max defense, your max HP, max defense, your max HP, max attack, which is fine. Your max special attack, max speed, and your max HP, max defense. So I gotta fix some natures, which is fine. But let's grab some money, because I need more money to like proceed at this point in the game. To do what I need to do. And I actually really need to grind a lot of money anyway. So let's grab Pelipper. And yeah, they did change Combusk and Shiny, they did. Um, actually, let's let's swap someone else. Let's swap Swampert out. Okay. Um, I need to go get a Thunderstone if I don't have one, but I may have one. That's something that I may have picked up at some point. If not, we could just go buy one. Thunderstone! Thunderstone! Nah, I don't think I have one. Meh. It's not looking not looking very positive here. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and say I do not have a Thunderstone. So let's go grab one. You're still tripping about the Glacier? I know, right? That was, that was pretty epic. Uh, next one. Alright, Thunderstone. And that's how you evolve it in this game with the Thunderstone. And we can evolve Crazy Steen into a Magna Zone. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So now what I gotta do is I gotta go farm some money. Um, which is, you know, one of those things. It's kind of frustrating, but you gotta do it. I feel like it is a part of the game, as frustrating as it is, so I'll I'll go do it. Oh Ditto. Hello, Ditto. How do you do? Okay. Um, so now we will deck snap Pelippers for a little bit and just hang out while I farm some Poke Dollars that I desperately need. So, yeah, they did change Combusk and Shiny a little bit. Um, you would think that they would change some other Shinies, but no. No, no. What's up, Wildcat? Hope you're doing well. 
Is there a reason to choose Magneton over Magnezone? Generally, no. I mean, you can run Eviolite Magneton to boost his defenses, but I think Magnezone in general is just a better, better Pokemon. So, uh, let's thief you. Mm, you don't have anything for me. Give me them lucky eggs. Do I like salami? Um, yeah, I would say so. I mean, I don't like go out of my way for it, but yeah. What's up, Silver Lost? How's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks for the 15 months of love. I appreciate the support, dude. 15 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Oh, that's convenient. Yo, what's up, YTS? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. I've never been a big roast beef guy, though, Professor. I'm going to be honest. It's not really my cup of tea or my type of beef. Never been a big roast beef guy. I typically, like, if I were to go to the grocery store and pick up cold cuts, I pretty much always get honey ham. And uh, I like an assortment of cheeses. Sometimes I get turkey. You know, sometimes some, like, chicken stuff. But Hey, Professor, thank you so much for the three months of love. What's going on? First time here. What's going on, Storm? Welcome to the live streams, dude. Hope you're having a wonderful Sunday afternoon on this holiday weekend for Memorial Day here in the United States. What's up, Drew? How's it going? Is that confirmed, YTS? Is it? Is that confirmed? Maybe, maybe for the Japanese one. We don't know about the English one yet, though, when it comes out. Which we're expected to be the Evolving Skies. Oh, they updated it? Okay, word. I think it's called Evolving Skies. Yeah, lots of TCG stuff coming, guys. Uh, chilling Raindrops pretty soon. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming. Okay, let's do that. You thought it was Saturday? I'm pretty sure it's Sunday right now. What's up, Chris? Thanks for 10 months, man. How are you? You got a shiny Snover? Nice, Mango. Congratulations, man. And what's up, uh, Chris? Thank you for 10 months, dude. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm out of PP, so let's poke your rider back. Let's heal up, and let's do that again. Uh, this should get us enough money to get to kind of the end part of the game. Like I said, I've already started considering my plans for the Elite Four, which is a little premature, but I have a, an idea, so... Um, I just have to, like, not lose Pokemon today. <laughs> which may or may not be feasible, right? Um... The good news is, I think this is, of the two main battles I have to do, I'm actually going to do three. I'm going to do Surge, I think, as well. Because um, I want Light Clay. I think Light Clay could actually be really good against the Elite Four, uh, which is something that I had considered in the first run, and I just never actually did it because I didn't have a good enough team for Surge. I have a better team for Surge this time, so I think I can beat Surge. Um, I have Crook, a Whiskash, some, some bulky grass types, things like that. Um, so I think, I think the plan today, and things could change very quickly, but I think the plan today is to... Do this rival battle, and then I believe we have the Brendan battle, the final Brendan battle. But I think that's a Swampert sweep, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure that's a Swampert sweep. So we're going to probably utilize that. And if I can get that Swampert, Swampert sweep, then we should be in pretty good shape. Um, because you just kind of win. So I'll probably just take that. And then Surge would be the next one. So... And then after that, you have the creator, who's a meme, so we always win that battle, um, as long as I don't forget about it. And then from there, uh, then we just we just do it. So, um, thank you again, Chris, for the love. Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you're having a good day. If you are new, be sure to follow the channel if you haven't yet. Following the stream is always free. Uh, but we're gonna be streaming for the next couple hours, doing some radical red, a little earlier stream today. Um, I did explain at the beginning why, but. Steven, what's going on? Thank you for 10 months. What's up, dude? Always on the grind, scrub. Always on the grind, man. You know it. Always grinding. Always doing it. Trying to move forward. Sometimes it feels like we're going backwards, but always trying to move forward, you know? Just don't set up rain against the cra- <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that I know. That I know. I have, I have definitely- seen that what am i doing with pelipers here i'm taking lucky eggs and damp rocks um which 
you then sell for Poke Dollars, which that allows you to do the training and stuff that you need to do. So your papa threw you out of the house for trying to find a place to stay. I'm really sorry to hear that. That sounds kind of rough. Are you still doing Surprise Egg Saturday? No, we haven't done that series in months, man. Yeah, we haven't done that in months. Like three or four months, I think. Probably longer. I don't even remember the last time I did it. Feels like it was an eternity ago. All right, I got three more and then I'm gonna go back to training. The training at this point though, we're like, we're probably like 10 minutes away from the battle, 15 minutes away from the battle. Like I'm not gonna do anything super crazy. Just some small tweaks to the team. Um, it should be fine. Okay, thief. All right, so that's all my thief. So now what I'm gonna do is we were gonna go to Lavender because I got to max out some stats here. Let's sell out some of this stuff because I got a bunch of stuff to sell. Um, we'll sell most of our lucky eggs. We'll do 46 of them because I'm, I'm gonna probably want some of them. And then I just gotta sell my damp rocks wherever those are. Uh, I probably don't even have to sell them right now. I could probably wait, but I hear there. I'll sell 16 damp rocks. So that gives me $600,000 right there. So that's it's pretty solid. Okay, that's enough to fix the things I need to fix. So we're gonna grab Swamper back, drop you off. Let's get everyone to the right level first. Actually, let's fix some uh, natures. You're adamant, let's make you relaxed. Yep. And you're probably also adamant. Yep, we'll fix that. Relaxed. You're relaxed, which is fine. You're adamant, you're timid, and you're gentle. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna make you modest. I missed it. Modest. Okay. Um, let's get these last couple levels I need just to get everyone to 82. So you're the farthest away, as is Ludi Loco. So you guys all need lucky eggs. Um, let's give you one, let's give you one, and let's give you one. And let me just save uh, XP. You lost the first in the first attempt because of the Mudkip Kid? I didn't, what do you mean? I didn't lose to the Mudkip Kid. I lost Pokemon in that battle. I didn't lose to him though, if that's what you mean. Shiny Tide Ranch was a great Shiny, dude. Yeah, it's a really good Shiny. Okay, so we're getting there. 77, 73, 78, 79. Okay, run that back one more time. This may get us close. It's gonna be 81. Okay. Jimmy needs the XP the most now, so let's get him focused. 79, all right, so I do need to remember to get energy ball. Just need one more. That should get everyone there, I think, right? 80, so Crazy Steen leveled over one, but that's okay. Um, as long as I don't go two over, we're fine. Okay, so everyone's leveled. Now what I need to do, we're gonna Pokey Rider. We're gonna head over to Celadon. I'm saying you lost good, oh, I did lose good Pokemon, yeah. Okay, I think you can buy Energy Ball here. You can. All right, so I'm buying Energy Ball because the Energy Ball Calc actually is better than, than the Giga Drain Calc. So that little extra damage actually does make a difference for a KO that I want to grab. So we're gonna do that. And we'll give that to Jimmy. Um, we can get rid of Giga Drain in this context. That extra 15 base power actually makes a huge difference. Okay, so now we gotta just figure out the rest of the moves for everybody. So what we gotta do is I need Volt Switch, which is right here. We're gonna put that on Crazy Steen. And I need Thunderbolt as well. I'm pretty sure I bought Thunderbolts at some point. I did. Get rid of Gyro Ball. I don't know if Flash Cannon is a TN that I have. It is. So let's do that. I should probably buy all of these at some point anyway, but. All right, so we need Flash Cannon, which is right here. Over Zap Cannon. Okay, so you're gonna have the choice scarf. Choice scarf. Okay, so Crazy Steen's done. Now I'm gonna give Jimmy the assault vest. That gives him a, an extra way to deal with the Blastoise. Um, can I sort al alphabetically? I'm not sure how to do that. 
Do I upload the full breaks to YouTube? We do highlights. Um, okay, so you're adamant. I don't really need the speed. I have bullet punch, iron head, brick break, hammer arm. I probably want Zen headbutt back on this thing. Let's go figure that out. So let's do Pokey Ride. Let's head up here. It is a shiny Metagross, yes. All right, so let's get um, Zed Headbutt back on him because I definitely want that just in case. Zen Headbutt. And we'll get rid of probably Hammer Arm. I don't really like Hammer Arm. Okay. Um, Kaylee is fine the way it is. We'd like to fix some of those stats. So let's actually do that. I have the, the Poke Dollars now that we can mess around a little bit more. All right, so I definitely need to fix the stat, the speed stat of Magnezone. Step one, because it has to be the right speed stat. So let's fix Magnezone's speed. And then let's actually fix Meganium's HP. So you're good. You're mad Modest Scarf. You're Timid Assault Vest with 215 speed. And that means you're outspeeding Blastoise 100% of the time. And you're Choice Scarf with max speed now, so you're 182. So, uh, yeah, I'm a higher level. I'm 83 now. So that puts me at 273, which means you always outspeed Strafter and Darminitan. And I should actually max your special attack too while I'm at it, because it's so bad. Okay, that'll just make sure we don't run into any issues. Um, and actually, let's max your let's max your HP too. I don't want to like risk anything here. I need to be bulky. Okay, so hidden power. F oh, he's hidden power bug now. Oh, because I changed his stat. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so I need to fix that then. So what I need to do now is um, I need to actually just max his stats out. Is what I need to do. So I need to get more Poké Dollars. All right, I didn't realize that that was going to change it. I mean, I should have, but I don't know why I didn't think of it that way. Um, so it's fine. Yeah, you can change your hit, uh, hidden, uh, hidden power, but you can only change it if you um, have max stats. So I have to go farm more money. That's fine though. One round of Pelipers will be good. Yeah, we were actually super convenient there too, but. Okay, and Amoongus, and let's head up here. Okay, back to Pelipers. What's up, Easy Jeezy, baby? Thank you so much for the love. Pelipper can't be found. Why can't it be found? There it is. Pelipper, you've got one job, man. It's just give me stuff. When is season three coming of what? Pokey loot? Um, probably not until maybe July ish. I'm terrible with nicknames, Mango. I'm just going to be real with you. What's up, Cyber Squirtle? How are you today? Thanks for tuning in, man. All right. Grab that. Uh, I can take your heat rock. We saw that too. It's same deal. Same deal. What's your favorite Pokemon game you're gonna try? Recommend it to me. Uh, I would try Xenoverse, dude. We just did that back in February, and it was awesome. I really like Xenoverse. Okay, steal that. Will I play Unbound? I don't. I don't know the answer to that. Yes, we did, Jay. We did stop. If I got a free revive on this run, who would I use it on? Um, ooh. I'd have to look in the the death commands. Uh, probably Charizard though. I really was planning to use Charizard like a lot too. Once we got our mega, and we were, <laughs> we lost it like right, right when I was gonna be able to use it finally, but it's whatever, dude. It happens. I mean, I lost it to like stupid stuff too, so it's kind of just like whatever, you know. Um, otherwise, I mean, I think outside of Charizard, 
I think that there's something to be said about, um, you know, Blaziken being really, really strong. There's a few battles that I think Blaziken would have been nice for. Like Mon's going boom, yeah. You just you just never know when there's gonna be an explosion that crits through your screen. You know, you set up the screens and then they just crit right through it. The struggle is real. The struggle is real. How many more? Four more. Okay, almost there. You can't evolve your Torkoal into Turnator. Are you doing something wrong? I hope you're kidding. Those Pokemon are not related at all. Do I use Dupes Claws? Dupes Claws is a clause that I is optional. So yes, I do use Dupes Claws, but it's an optional clause. So if I find a duplicate, ooh, that almost was bad. If I find a duplicate, I can choose to uh, capture it or skip the duplicate and go for the next encounter. Uh, sell this stuff. That should get us the, no the money I need. Sell that heat rock. Sell some damp rocks. And then we just need to sell the lucky eggs. So sell 15 lucky eggs. That should give me plenty of Poke Dollars to do what I need to do now, hopefully. So let's head up to Celadon and let's fix those stats since I messed up before. Okay, so um, I don't have them. They're... Yeah, Torkoal and Turtonator are not related in any way, so I don't, I'm a little confused. Which starter would I recommend for Radical Red? If you're new to this kind of thing, then I would probably take uh, Squirtle or Bulbasaur because they'll at least give you an advantage in the first gym. You've been lied to? <laughs> What's up, Tover? How's it going, man? All right. Um, okay, so now, like I said, I messed up a little bit, so I have to fix. Let me see what stats I have to fix on you. I need to fix your attack your defense and your special defense. So, attack. Oh, did I just pay 300 grand to do all of them at once? No. Now I need to do defense. And then, what was it, special, special defense? Special defense. Special defense. Okay, so that puts Crazy Steen in a good spot now. And he's got Hidden Power Dark, but we're gonna fix that. Is there any other stats I need to fix? Uh, probably your stats. I'm gonna end up maxing you anyway, so let's just fix you now. And your defense, I think it is. Okay. Uh, I'll fix your special defense later, I don't care about that. Um, I'll fix your HP while I'm at it. Okay. And... Your bulk is fine, which is what I care about the most. Although I could fix your special attack. Why not? Okay. I did not get Regieli key yet, no. Okay, so I think everyone's good. So this set is fine. Reflect, Light Screen, Giga Drain, Draining Kiss. That's all I need for this. Um, Cecily here is Iron Head, Brick Break, Zen Headbutt, Bullet Punch. This thing is really just meant to come in on Hatterene. It's just Iron Head. That's really all it's for. Um, just so I don't lose to Hatterene. And we have a bullet punch as well, which is nice just to have the priority. It's also a secondary answer to Staraptor. Not a good one, but a secondary answer to Staraptor. Uh, Polylicious, I need the Damp Rock on you. So let's do that. Damp Rock. Okay, you are defensive in this battle, so I'm actually going to throw leftovers on a bunch of Pokemon as well. So let's go grab some of those. I think those are in my PC. I did not get the hair cross either now. I'm looking for some lefties, which I think, yeah, on a few different Pokemon. All right, so that's going to go on you. And then I'm actually going to grab a Leftovers for, oh, wrong thing. Grab one for you. And then, realistically, Metagross, I, I suppose Metagross can also have the Leftovers. I don't really feel like there's anything that it, it benefits from. Uh, Cause I'm pretty sure you're one-shotting the Hatterene anyway, but I'll look. I'm pretty sure you're always ha one-shotting Hatterene with Iron Head. <sighs> if I max attack, oh, maybe not actually. Maybe not. 
It's by the Calc dude, right? Yeah, so actually you don't get the KO, so I do need a boosting item on him. It could just be Life Orb. Let's give him a Life Orb. Or Choice Band is cool too, but I think Life Orb looks fine. Okay, so I think I have the team that I want. Let me just run through it in my head real quick and make sure I got everything proper. What's up, Zad? Thanks for the 22 months of love. So the idea is you lead with Crazy Steen here, which has a Choice Scarf and 182 speed. Uh, that 182 speed allows you with a Choice Scarf to hit 273, which outspeeds Staraptor, Darmanitan, uh, as well as really everything on the team except for Kartana. You have Magnapul, so you trap the Kartana. Oh, I need to go fix his stat. I need to go fix his, his hidden power. Um, that was a big thing I had to do. I got to fix some movesets too, so I'm not quite there yet, but I'm almost there. What's up, Camo? Thanks for 17. Okay, so I need this to become Hidden Power Fire. Yes, okay. So now we have Hidden Power Fire, which is for Cartana. Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, all beautiful. We've got Cecily here with the Life Orb Adamant. Uh, Iron Head, Brick Briggs, and Headbutt Bullet Punch. That means we come in on Hatterene every single time, and we just go for Iron Head, and we KO it, no problem. We've got uh, Polylicious here, which is our physically defensive Politoed with the Damp Rock. And Skull, Flip Turn, Hypnosis, Bubble. <laughs> let's let's put something else on there. Let's put Ice Beam. <laughs> um, let's give him Ice Beam. I think Ice Beam's 13 or something like that. Yeah. I get rid of Bubble. I love how I used him with Bubble. Okay. Um, so this thing is basically, it comes in on Darmanitan and just Flip Turns. That's that's all it needs to do. Come in on Darmanitan. Don't get beat. Flip Turn out. That's really it. Uh, you should be able to take a, a Flare Bliss relatively well. And if he flip turns out, you know, it puts us in a, a relatively strong positioning. Um, it does a lot to the Dermanitan. I'm going to just do a quick calc here. If I were to calc, um, like, physically defensive Politoed. Against Dermanitan. Dermanitan is really strong. Dermanitan. Level 80. Life Orb Sheer Force. So good. So strong. And he is jolly, at least. He's good. He goes for Flare Blitz, which is pretty much what he always does. Flare Blitz. In rain. Max attack. Says he does 20 to 24, which is pretty low, right? And, yeah, I mean, we, we take that pretty well. And if I just go for Skull, I think he just one-shot him back. Skull does one-shot him back. Flip Turn doesn't, but Flip Turn after recoil damage probably does. And if he goes for like an earthquake or something, I don't think he's really doing that much to me. Yeah, he does like 30%. So Politoed should be a very safe response. Um, I also have Swampert here as another response to the Darmanitan. Ice Punch, Earthquake, Liquidation, Power Punch. This is also an Electivire answer with Earthquake. And then I've got Jimmy here with Swift Swim. Uh, he's got Energy Ball, Fake Out, Scald, Ice Beam. So that's to beat the Blastoise if he goes for Shell Smash. And then I've got Kaylee here, which is just to slow down the Electivire. As well as have a backup option to the Blastoise. And also set screens. I think that's everything. Um, I don't actually need Damp Rock, though, now that I think about it. Uh, actually, I, I actually do want it because of the... Um, no, I do want it because I do have Ludicolo. Because I need to make sure... One thing that could make this go wrong is if Blastoise sets up... What happens if... Uh, I guess if... You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to put a Yachi Berry on you. Because... If Blastoise sets up... I can always take one. Right? <sighs> Let me look. 82 Meganium against Blastoise, Mega Blastoise, level 81, max special attack, uh, Modest, if he's plus 2, Ice Beam, and let's say he's Mega Launcher, which doesn't get boosted. If I have the Yachi Berry, you're always living the Ice Beam, and Giga Drain comes back, and it's a 2 a KO, so you never lose the Blastoise with that backup plan. Just in case something goes bad with Ludicolo. Um, couldn't you teep Metagross Taunt so Blastoise can't Shell Smash? Uh, that's incredibly risky, for one. And two, um, the 
The Blastoise is faster, so you wouldn't have a fast taunt. It would be kind of a wasted attempt. Um, the Dermanitan is level 81. Uh, it shouldn't matter to me in this context. Dermanitan is still very scary. If Rain is up, though, I can deal with it. That's the one thing I will say. Everything else I think I'm okay with. You're my switch into that. Electivire, I have Swampert, which is carrying the leftovers. He's very good. Actually, let me give Flip Turn to you. Because it could be really advantageous to have that momentum. So let's put Flip Turn on Swampert. Over probably Power Up Punch. We're never clicking Power Up Punch in this battle. And then you're solid. Energy Ball Fake Out Scald. Ice Beam, you've got the Assault Vest as another option to deal with the Blastoise. Because you're going to one-shot it if he Shell Smashes. Um, I think everything is good. So I think we're going to jump into this battle. I'm going to just look at it one more time. So Modest Choice Scarf, Magnet Pull, Hidden Power Fire, Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon. You've got Adamant, Life Orb, Clear Body, Iron Head, Brick Breaks, and Headbutt Bullet Punch. You relax, physically defensive with the Damp Rock, Scald Flip Turn, Hypnosis, Ice Beam that gives us eight turns of rain. You are physically defensive with leftovers. This is for Electivire. You have Ice Punch, Earthquake, Liquidation, Flip Turn. You are Assault Vest, Timid, the Energy Ball, Fake Out, Scald, and Ice Beam. And you are relaxed with a Yachi Berry for Blastoise with Reflect, Light Screen, Giga Drain, and Dream Kiss. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I gotta update the layout. So just give me a moment to do that. Hey, thank you for the kind words there, TK. What's good, dude? All right, so I need to grab Madness Zone, which is what, Gen 4? Yeah, there he is. Madness Zone, really cool mon. I think Madness Zone's actually really solid in this. Um, and then I need Swampert, which is Gen 3. Swampert, okay. And then I need Meganium, which is Gen 2. Meganium. Okay. I don't have Snorlax. I have Ludi Loco. Ludi Loco. Gotta love that. Some Ludi Loco, everybody. All right, there's Ludi Loco. Uh, you can make all your stats S tier in the game, yes. Uh, but it takes money. And I'm not using the infinite money trick or, or infinite money hacks or whatever. I know some people do, I don't, or I haven't on this attempt. I feel like if I'm gonna do the infinite money, I'm gonna do it on the beginning of a playthrough, not in the middle of it. it. Feels a little weird to do it in the middle. I'm a big believer of like doing your best to set the rules at the beginning and just try to stick to them as best as you can. So that's that's what I try to do. So you did cal crits, right? I did I did the best I can, man. So, you know, if I get super crit on something, then I get super crit on something. It, you, you just take the gamble. So okay. I think we've got everything we need for this battle. So, scarf, life, 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 life. Okay. let's do it. Let's do it! Big rival battle team. Wish me luck. This one's tough. This one's tough. Okay. All right, see what we got. Man, I'm nervous. Hey, I'm one of Oak's aides. We wanted to congratulate you. Now that you're strong enough, roaming legendaries have appeared. You can view them on your town map. All right, cool. So we can get roaming legendaries, which get a little weird because I don't have a master ball, but whatever. All right, let's do it. Let's go. A-Drive, what a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League? You collect all the badges? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, A-Drive, as a warm up for the Pokemon League. Come on. All right. So, one thing I do not know is, does he stay in with Staraptor on turn one here? Like, I don't know the answer to that. Either way, I'm bolt switching, so it's not an issue. But I do wonder if he, if he, like, what the plan is there. So, he's going to Intimidate, as expected. And I just click Volt Switch. So, we just click Volt Switch. He does switch out. So, what is the switch, though? Is it Electivire? It is Electivire. Okay, so Electivire comes in. I'm going to just Volt Switch. It's an Iron Fist Electivire, so I'm, I'm not that concerned. So, what that means now is that I have to deal with, I do have to deal with the, um, the Staraptor later, which is not ideal, right? That, that's definitely less than ideal to deal with the Staraptor later, 
but it's something that I can deal with, so. Um, obviously, Electivire is on the field, so I think the play is always just go Swampert here. Um, Earthquake makes so much sense. I don't know if he stays in or not. I think I'm just going to Earthquake, though. He does stay any close combats, but I'll get rid of Electivire, which is one of the bigger threats. Okay, so Electivire is gone. Now I got to deal with the Seraptor, though. Which, if Seraptor comes back in, definitely a bit of a problem. Definitely a bit of a problem. I was really hoping he would just stay in. Uh, although Cartana could come in next, actually. Cartana coming in next would be really good for me. It's Cartana. Okay. So that means he always goes Leaf Blade. I would assume. So we go Crazy Steam. And we hope he Leaf Blades. He does. Okay, so this is exactly what I wanted. So he is trapped in because I have Magnet Pull. So he cannot switch out. He does crit though. Wow. Hidden Power Fire. I'd really prefer not another crit right now. He gets... No, he doesn't get two in a row. Wow. Okay, well, it works. It works. Uh, I got rid of Cartana. <laughs> now I don't have a switch into Staraptor, though. Well, I have Metagross still, but... Uh, okay. Staraptor is a problem right now, I'm not gonna lie. Staraptor is a massive problem. It's gonna be Darmanitan, though. He, he could U-turn, but U-turn doesn't pick up the KO. He could also Earthquake here. This is a very tricky situation. I think my play is always Polylicious, though, because Flare Blitz is always the strongest move that Darmanitan can go for. So I think you always just go Polytune. What's up, Fox? He does Flare Blitz. All right, so no crits, no burns would be really nice. Okay. Okay, takes a little recoil. Okay, so now the very safe play, I think Scald is the best play here, because then you clear the Staraptor, or I'm sorry, you clear the Darmanitan guaranteed. If I go for a flip turn, I may not get the KO, which would be the only concern. Let me just calc. Um, level 81 Darmanitan versus Politoed. And he could also U-turn out as well, which is another issue. And I, I'm I'm limited in the amount of times I can switch into Darmanitan. So if if I don't get the KO against this thing right now, it could be bad. So Skull definitely KOs. Flip turn does not though. Flip turn gives me momentum. It does 71 to 84, which is not enough. So Skull is definitely the best play. I think I have to Scald. He might U-turn though. He does U-turn. All right. Well, the good news here is. Well, there's some good news, some bad news. The good news is, if he goes Staraptor, I get a really nice hit on Staraptor. It's Hatterene. Okay. That's actually fine, though. Because my play is to Metagross anyway here. And I think I just flip turn into Metagross. We should be faster. So we just flip turn into Metagross now. And we're good against anything he goes for. Hey, Soham, I really I really don't need you backseat gaming and telling me the moves to pick in the chat, okay? Thanks, bud. Um, all right, so Draining Kiss is going to do nothing. And now I get to just click Iron Head. And he could switch in Blastoise, but I still have plenty of rain. So we just click Iron Head now. He does switch out. Probably Blastoise. Star Manitan. I should have predicted that. Good damage. Okay, so he, he almost is always going... Uh, I think I lose something. Unless Bullet Punch KOs. I don't think it does, though. I don't think I can risk Bullet Punch here. But I'll look. If I was... Uh, if I was banned... Uh, no, it wasn't going to matter. 82 Metagross. I don't think you risk it. I think it's going to be a damage. I think it's not going to be worth it. Yeah, there's no way that does enough. 17 to 20. There's no way. Okay. So now I gotta figure out what's my switching to Darmanitan in this context. Uh, I really can't risk the other Pokemon, so I think. Oh man. So he either Earthquakes or Flare Blitzes. I think 
He earthquakes. I do think he earthquakes. I could go Swampert, but I can't risk losing Swampert. But Swampert should be able to take a hit or two. Let me actually look at that. He may also just U-turn as well. I don't need Swampert for this battle anymore, but I do need to not lose Swampert in general. I can't risk losing him. Spear Force. So if he's earthquaking, he's doing 19. I'm at 231 out of 333. So I'm at 70% roughly. Oh, I got a Calc Life Orb. So he can do 30% with Earthquake. Whoa. Okay. Dude, my, my controller is being all over the place right now. Okay, Life Orb. Flare Blitz. In range. So Earthquake does 25 to 30. Oh, that's not without, uh, that's not right. He, he two shots with Earthquake. Okay, this is not a good situation. Okay, so I'm actually, does anyone know what the keyboard command is to show how many turns of rain and trick room and stuff there is? Does anyone know what the command is for that? It's R. You click fight and then you click R, right? Didn't do anything. Nothing happened. But this is not the battle that I want to test it out on. E. Oh, I'm not going to test it out this battle. This is too risky. Okay. Um, so I really have no switch in now at this point. I really don't. I, I need to sack something. I think. I think I actually sat Crazy Steen here. Yeah, I think I think I sack off Crazy Steen is my safest bet. I wish I knew how many turns of rain I had though, because that makes a big difference in terms of my decision making right now. But I think. Actually, another thing that would make a difference in my decision making is Ludicolo versus Staraptor. What is Ice Beam doing? 74, not enough. Not enough. What about Skull and Rain? Same thing. If you have Rain up, you can check. No, I know I can check, guys. I don't know what the command is to check right now, so because I don't know the command, um, I'm not gonna chance it. So I think, um, cause I don't wanna misclick a button and then lose. I think my best actual approach right now is, is to go Crazy Steed and sack it off. I cannot risk losing my Swampert or my Polly. How many Mons left? I killed Hatterene. I killed Kartana. I killed Electivire. So Starmanitan, Staraptor, Blastoise. So if I sack off Magnezone right now, I get the free switch into um, Ludicolo, which then can go for Scald and KO the Darmanitan. Um, it also can beat the Staraptor, and then I still have Kaylee to beat the Blastoise if I need it. So that gives me that gives me everything I still need. Hatterene is still alive. Oh, Hatterene's still alive. Okay. I didn't KO Hatterene then. Okay. So either way, I still need to keep Metagross around. So I think I think that is my play. So I'm gonna sack off Crazy Steen here. Maybe he U-turns and I live. He flare blitzes. Okay. He, uh, let's flip over. Okay. Thank you, Jay. What's good, man? 
Alright, he takes a little bit of extra recoil. Rain continues to fall. Now we go, Jimmy. Now we go for his skull. He's gonna switch out, though. And it's Raptor. Okay, that's fine. I just need one more turn of rain, though. Oh, this is not fine, actually. Dermanitan is gonna take a life every time it comes in, bro. Three mons left. Darmanitan's left. Do I have rain still? I have rain still, right? It just showed the rain animation, right? I have rain. One more turn. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, losing Magnus Zone stinks, but it's honestly not the end of the world. I can't lose any of the other members because a lot of the team that I have right now is, is my Elite Four team that I'm planning. All right, here's Hatterene. All right, we're good. Uh, we always go Metagross here. I don't think he mystical fires, but if he does, it's okay. I can live one. He psychics. All right, I don't want to get too weak in because I, I kind of need this thing to deal with the Hatterene later. I'm curious if he stays in. I'm going to Iron Head. He stays in. Okay, so I get rid of Hatterene. So that means it's, it's basically I just need to beat Blastoise now. So... All I have to do is beat Blastoise now. Okay. So, there's no, he's, he's always, I think he always clicks Shell Smash here. So, if he clicks Shell Smash, I just want to make sure my calc is proper. I'm pretty sure I have this in the bag. If I send out level 82 Meganium with max HP, max defense... And we are relaxed, nature doesn't really matter. And we have Giga Drain, and we have the Yachi Berry, which I'm gonna double check that I have, but I have the Yachi Berry. And the Blastoise comes out, and it's Mega Blastoise. I'm pretty sure he always Shell Smashes here. He's level 81, right? Level 81. Level 81, he's max speed, max special attack. Max speed, max special attack. And he goes for Ice Beam. I think he always Shell Smashes anyway, though. So if he Shell Smashes, that puts him at minus one special defense, which means Giga Drain is a two at KO. And even if he's plus two special attack with Ice Beam, his first Ice Beam will do 56 to 66 after my Yachi Berry activates. And I'll be able to hit him twice before he hits me twice. So I'm pretty sure we're fine. Let's just double check to make sure I did put a Yachi Berry on there. I did. Okay. So we're good. So we assume that he clicks Shell Smash every time. If he doesn't Shell Smash, it's fine. Um, I should still be able to get a 2 KO. There's no reason he Ice Beams. I'm pretty sure he either Shell Smashes or Water Pulses. There is a world where this gets really sketchy if he Water Pulses confuses me here. I was holding my breath on that one. All right, so we get priority Giga Drain. So if he Shell Smashes, then we're fine. Um, it's not too KO though, because he didn't Shell Smash. Does he Yachi? Does he smash now? Now he smashes. We got this. Okay, cool. Woo! Good to go. All right, so I lose my uh, Magnus Zone in this battle, which, honestly, not the end of the world. Uh, I probably would have used it in another battle coming up, but um, it's all good. Gold Crater, thanks for 17, man. Appreciate the love. Um, yeah, losing Magnus Zone is definitely a bummer, but the other members of the team I can't lose. Like, I can't afford to lose them now, so um, that's honestly not the worst thing. Yeah, I got kind of messed up because they did a lot of switching. There's just so much switching there. Okay. All right, so that battle's done. Okay. Not bad. All right, um, so let's deposit Crazy Steen into the death box. Let's save again. I'm going to take a quick, like, 30-second uh, break. I'll be right back.
Okay. Um, so the next battle we have to face is the Brendan battle at the League Gate. Now, does anyone remember, does League Gate, is that prior to Victory Road? It is, right? That's before Victory Road. He stops you before you go in the cave, right? It's before the cave at the nurse. Okay, so that's what I thought. So now we have to prepare, the, prepare for this battle. Um, the good news is I swept this battle last time with more more or less using Swampert. So I think that that's probably what we'll do this time. Um, I do want to just go look back at that battle last time and make sure I am not missing something. But I'm pretty sure last time I did this battle, I just used Politoed Flip Turn into a Swampert Power Up Punch and then Sweep. But I want to say that maybe something went wrong with that. I don't... I remember the Huntail was tricky because of that. The Metagross will always use Explosion. Hey, Soham, listen, buddy. I'm, I'm really confused what you're even talking about. There's no Metagross here, bud. You know? I, I really, guys, like, seriously, I don't want to I don't want to be rude, but I have a very, 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 very strict no backseat gaming policy, Okay? I've, I've been not putting on emote only mode to allow you guys to chat during the battles, but I really, really don't want backseat gaming. It doesn't help. It really doesn't. Okay? Thank you. Okay. I'm not going to start banning backseat gamers, but I would ask that people respect my wishes on that. It's not a big, big ask. I just don't want people to tell me what moves to pick. Like, let me play the game. <laughs> if I have a question and I, I want someone's thoughts, I'll ask for that. But, um, okay. So... Deoxys Psycho boosted my Politoed. And a crit would KO. That's what it was. And then I flip turned him down to Sash. Okay, so... That is that is a scary thing. Like, I would I would actually lose Politoed to that. Um, did I... Do a team eval here? I did not. I did use Swampert, Swift Swim. I was adamant. I did use the Power Up Punch strategy. Did he stay in with Deoxys? No, I got the Power Up Punch off. And then I just swept. Pretty much. Yeah, we more or less swept. Okay. Um, but we established that this... This Deoxys is is a different form. What form is this Deoxys? Cause I remember last time we thought it was a different form. Like I'll, t I'll send you guys a picture of it. What form is this dude? I don't know the forms. It's the attack form. I don't know the forms of Deoxys, bro. This guy right here, hold up. This guy. Um. This is the attack form. Deoxys forms. Attack form. Okay, so you know it's the attack form because... Well, it's not the speed form. This is definitely the attack form. Okay, so we've concluded that it's the attack form. So now what I need to do is I need to look at a calc for Deoxys attack form. Because last time I looked at the wrong one. Um, and he's 128, 132. So 128 and 132. And he's level 81 naive. And he's level 81. So if he goes for Psycho Boost, it's a special attack. And he has Ice Beam, Super Power, Extreme Speed. Ice Beam, Super Power. None of those moves are really all that big of a concern. Um, so if I have Politoed lead, I think last time I made him physically defensive, but I think we need to make him specially defensive for the Psycho Boost. Yeah, if you... Oh, I, you know what though? I probably need I probably need investment though. Oh no, no, he's super frail, right? Yeah, I knock him down to twelve percent. Like I have a chance to knock him to sash no matter what. So I don't actually need investment, and we can always run sassy regardless. So I can get yeah. So we always hit him to sash. So we don't need attack investment, and that that protects us from crits. So last time I almost choked because I I had the I had the wrong form, but this time I won't because I have the right form now. So that's the good news. Okay. Um. 
Let me put some music on. Let's mute. Okay, so here's basically what we do here. Um, you basically lead Politoed in this battle. And you flip turn, you do the same thing. But you go specially defensive Politoed. Then you bring offensive Swamper and it kind of sweeps. Because you flip turn the Deoxys, you knock it down to Focus Sash, Swamper comes in, it outspeeds. And then you um, you uh, power up punch it to get an attack boost. And then your Swampert is sitting at plus one attack. And it pretty much one shots everything with the exception of Huntail, because Huntail has Intimidate. That's the only thing. So from there, like these two Pokemon should be able to win the battle pretty much on their own for the most part. From there, um, other Pokemon that would be worth considering for this battle are, I think, I think it'd be a bad idea to not bring Meganium in this battle. Um, Meganium allows me to wall the Sceptile. It can priority hit the Zapdos and priority hit the Huntail. So you have to bring Meganium. Um, so that's where you start. Um, then I'm not convinced Metagross is going to be worth bringing here. Let's grab you. So now, I would really like Pikachu's on the Three bird close combat, please. So I really want like a defensive answer to Landorus, which I think is probably Umbreon. I think Umbreon's just like a really good answer to a lot of things. Like especially defensive Umbreon should be able to take on the Landorus relatively. No, he's got Aura Sphere, just kidding. Um, I wonder what I did last time. I think I had P2. Yeah, I think I had P2. Um, maybe like a bulky Assault Vest Reuniclus with HP Ice. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah, bulky Reuniclus is really good here. Oh, you know what I had last time? I had um, I had Crabominable last time, I think. I brought Crabominable's really good in this battle too. Okay, those are all really good. Um, now the last thing we bring is you have to bring something that never loses to Jirachi, basically. Because Jirachi is so good. Because it can just flinch you to death. So you need to bring something that never loses to Jirachi. So you need something that's a complete Iron Head, Zen Headbutt Resist, basically. Which is like a Steel type. Like a good Steel type. Um, but that can recover, ideally. It's not something that exists very often. Um, maybe something like a Lamp could be really good. Because you don't want to get... Um, yeah, that might be the best bet. Because you just don't want to lose to the Jirachi. Because he, he starts Iron Head flinching you, but you're going to resist that. You're probably going to take it pretty well. Um, if he's Zen Headbutts you, it's a little annoying. But then you could just go Renoclus and you can stall it out with that. So I think that that's fine. And I think that Lamp is... Lamp would also be like an expendable member if I needed one. So I think that this could work. Um, hey, Papa John, thanks so much, man. I appreciate that, dude. I think that this team works for sure. It gives me a lot of outs, right? Like it gives me a lot of different outs. Um, I would say, yeah, I also have the mock punch on Crab for Huntail. Crab is so good in this battle too. And I actually quite like Lantern for the Huntail as well, even though Crunch is a problem. I have plenty of Lantern answers. I have plenty of Sceptile answers. My Landorus answer is a little bit to be desired, but I, in theory, outspeed it in rain anyway and just one-shot it before it gets to do anything. My Jirachi answer is a little bit limited as well, but I have a couple bulky water types. I have three bulky waters. So one would assume that I can beat Jirachi flinching me. And Deoxys I beat on turn one anyway, so it's a non-issue. Yeah, it is going to extreme speed me, but you get the plus one, and then I think you're pretty good there. Yeah, he's going to get knocked to Sash no matter what. Okay, I think I think this is the six. 
I'm just debating on do I have a better way to deal with Jirachi if I wanted to deal with it another way. I don't think so. No, I think I think that I think that having Reuniclus plus Lantern should be plenty to deal with um, the Jirachi. I think that that should be plenty to deal with the Jirachi. Zapdos is good for this battle. I actually ran Zapdos last time for this battle, but um, I, I really, uh, I mean, it is very good for this battle for sure. What's my Zapdos switch in? I guess it would be you. Yeah, Zapdos is a problem too, though. That's where having your own Zapdos is so good because your own Zapdos beats their Zapdos and Jirachi. So maybe, maybe I take the time real quick and I just go get Zapdos. To be honest. All right, what does it learn in this battle or in this game, at level whatever it is? Maybe I'll just go do that. I think it's worth. I'm trying to think of what level he was. Cause I definitely want to like weaken him and then put him to sleep or something. Okay. I'm going to grab Snorlax to start and we're going to prepare for Zapdos. I'm going to bring bulky lantern for Zapdos. I'm going to bring Sceptile cause it has, um, focus at or full swipe. I don't know how good an idea that is. Um, Probably want something that can put it to sleep. Which would... I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is this thing. Because of hypnosis. Spore, but like, it's really risky. Um... Maybe Whiskash? And crook. Um, nobody else learns full swipe or hypnosis, right? I don't think so. So I think NK is probably the bet. All right. Um. So let me let me see if I can work with this. I'm gonna just throw. I'm gonna throw some lucky eggs on some of these mons. I'm just gonna get their levels maxed out for this battle. And then I'm gonna take on the um I'm gonna take on the Zapdos and try to catch it. Cause I do think it's actually worth having the Zapdos. I think it's it's actually worth it. So let's try that. Let's put you in the front because you're the lowest level. I think it's a lower level anyway. Like I don't think it's level 80 or anything. I think it's a little lower. Psycho cut. Yeah, I want hypnosis though. Night slash. I did, Toby. Yeah. Superpower. Okay. I wonder if I have like eerie impulse on anything. Does anyone know like for sure what the move set is of the Zapdos when you catch it? I can go back and try to look at my videos. I just want to be as prepared as I can. All right, we got Malamar. Well, it doesn't have Bull Beak. It doesn't have Bull Beak. I know it doesn't have Bull Beak. Uh, Drew, if you can go look through my videos. No, it's regular Zapdos. It's regular Zapdos. All right, so we're almost max levels here. He's gonna get there. Who needs to get there? You. You're important. I really don't want to lose you to a hurricane. It'd be kind of annoying. All 
All right, this is the last of my money. Oh, you over leveled. Look at you. Okay, knock you out, knock you out, scale shot. Okay, so everyone's pretty high levels. You have Scald and Thunderbolt and Volt Switch. I'm actually gonna give you Parabolic Charge. Cause I feel like Lantern is gonna be my main way to weaken this thing. Oh, he has Eerie Impulse, let's go. That's what I was hoping for. Nice. Oh, Parabolic Charge is buffed in this game. Jeez, I should've been using that this whole time. And then, I don't have any more. All right, um, give me that. All right, where is Thief? Thief, there it is. I wanna teach it to you, I don't wanna. All right, let me go grab some mushrooms real quick. Eerie Impulse drops special attack by two stages. It's basically, in this battle, it just allows me to slow down the, um, the Zapdos. So I can catch it. And then I need to go make sure I have, um, need to make sure I have, uh, whatchamacallit. Pokeballs. Timer balls, etc. I did, I did more or less sweep this battle with Politoed Swampert, so I'm gonna do the same... A similar approach but i still have to make sure i have other answers just in case that strategy doesn't work so that's why i'm going to catch zapdos right now for that battle yo what's up david how's it going man i should have just grabbed pelipper it would have been faster oh that was dumb all right let me just get like two more I'll come back and hunt more later, I guess. Just trying to get Hypnosis on this guy so I can put him to sleep. Yeah, so we're moving on, dude. It's all good. You keep saying the same things over and over again doesn't help anything. Just move on, man. Is Zapdos better than Raikou? They're different Pokemon, man. Like, one is a flying type with Roost and can recover and has a lot of immunities. Raikou is just a straight up uh, Electro type that has a pretty limited move pool. Uh, and also in this game, um, Zapdos is a static legendary and Raikou is a roaming legendary. And the way I play the rules, I am I am able to catch the roaming legendaries, but since I don't have a Master Ball, it gets a little tricky. So, trying to avoid just using all legendaries anyway. Now you should learn Hypnosis. Yeah, I thought so. <coughs> Bless me. Um, all right, we'll get rid of Psycho Cut. Okay, so basically we just lead Ola and we just Eerie Impulse and like chip it away a little bit. And then I think we're okay. I think I can catch it. But let me just make sure I have Pokeballs. I have nine Ultra Balls. I need more than that. So let's actually, um, let's just Poke Ride. I only get one shot at this. So that's why we have to make sure we're like more or less ready. I don't want to um, just rush into it. If I don't catch the Zapdos, it's not the end of the world. But it would be really nice for this battle. So let's grab, um, let's grab some Timer Balls. Oh, I don't have any money. Um, I have two big nuggets. Right, I'll do that. I'll sell the Carbos. Zinc. Calcium. Okay, that should give me enough money to buy the Pokeballs I need for this. So, we want some Timer Balls. Uh, let's get 20 Timer Balls. And then let's get, um... Let's get some Ultra Balls. Let's get 30 Ultra Balls. That should work. How was the zoo? That was a while ago. Alright, so now let's just give the leftovers to you. Give the leftovers to you. That should get us where I need to be. Okay. So now we're going to head to the Pokey, the power plant, and we're going to go try to catch Zapdos. Um, and again, we only get one shot at it, so we kind of need to get it right. <laughs> and again, I, I can I can proceed without it, but it, it would be really nice to have it. 
It was a mon that I almost made it on my Elite Four team last time, so it, it would be nice to have it as an option, because it, it could be really good in the Elite Four, too. So. Okay, so shoot over there, and now let's get to Zapdos. The one thing we have to just make sure we don't do is we do not engage in battle against that one trainer. There's one trainer in here that's ridiculous, so I already got my encounter in here, so I can't get that done, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's the guy. Stay far away from him. And we should be almost there. Okay. So again, you only get one chance at this, so... Let's see it. I think, I think we'll be okay, though. I think, like, Ola alone should be really strong. I do wonder, is there another move that I could give Ola that would do very little damage? You don't get draining case, do you? No. Didn't think so. Don't want to do that. I mean, I think Parabolic Charge is going to be fine. I don't think it's going to do that much. But I guess... I guess I have to see what level he is, too. You don't want to flash cannon. Right? I think I'm just going to go for it. Alright, so we're going to try to catch Zapdos. Let's just see what happens. You only get one shot at it, so if I don't catch it and I have to run, then so be it. But, uh, let's see. So he's level 70. Okay. He's gonna pressure. Uh, I'm gonna Eerie Impulse. He's gonna Rain Dance. I'm gonna Eerie Impulse. I'm gonna Eerie Impulse again. He Agilities, I'm gonna Eerie Impulse again. Okay, so I've seen three of his moves now. So now I think what I'm gonna do, he hasn't attacked me yet, so I'm just gonna go to Tori. And then I'm gonna start full swiping. He discharges, okay. At least I know what he does now. I just need to full swipe him down. Okay, perfect. Um, so now I just need to uh, put him to sleep. Got it. Okay, now we just need to catch him. <sighs> that worked out way better than I thought it was going to go. He only has one attack. <laughs> Almost recent sub or give sub giver gets to name it, by the way. Still sleeping. Oh, he crit that. Yeah, remember you can. Hey, Thomas Brady, what's going on, man? Thank you. Has it as well. Let's try a uh, timer ball this time. Since those ultra balls ain't working. And he's gonna discharge me. All right, let's hypnosis. He discharges. I miss. Okay. Hey, Ray. Thanks for the five gifted subs. What's good, man? Thank you, Ray, for five gifties. Four hundred and five total. Two. Come on. He discharges. Okay, he's asleep. I'll try the dream ball. I don't know how that's gonna go, but we'll try it. That was effective. All right, I'm going back to timer. <sighs> Hunter, thanks so much for the sub love, dude. He's going to run out of attack soon, which is good. And I'll have a plenty of agilities and light screens. Nice. Shiny Hunter, this is you, man. Hit me with a nickname for the Zapdos. Static encounter Zapdos in Power Plant. You'd love to see it. All right. So, Shawnee Hunter X9. This is your nickname, and thank you to Wraith, Thomas, Brady, and Hazith throwing down. Okay. That's good. This is good. And we're going to name him Shocker. What a shocker. All right. Shocker. Sweet. Okay, so let's get out of here. We've got our Zapdos that we wanted, which is really actually a great pickup. 
So now what I'm going to do is we are going to head to... Why don't I just head to Cerulean for a minute as a breather? And then let's grab the team that we're going to rock with. Because I know what team I'm bringing now. Actually, let me grab some items here. Hold on. So that worked out incredibly well. Uh, that was a really good plan. It's always nice when the plan works. Um, okay, so let's deposit everybody. And let's bring the team that I'm going to take to this battle. Which is these guys plus Zapdos, basically. So let's grab Zapdos. And let's grab you and you and you and you and you. Let's deposit you. Take back you. Okay. So when I look at this team, you're trained up already. You're trained up already. But you know, I don't want the Yashi Berry this time. Uh, I'll give you the leftovers, probably. Okay. You need to be fixed. You need to be fixed. What are you, Reuniclus? You're max defense, Reuniclus, I think, still. So you're max defense, Reuniclus. So I probably... <sighs> All right, so let me let me run a quick couple calcs on Reuniclus right now. So if Reuniclus is level 82, we're going to have max HP no matter what. And we're facing off against the Landorus, which is our primary responsibility, right? And it's Landorus, uh, the sheer force one. Um, so he is timid. So we want to be specially offensive, I would say, more than anything. Oh, he's Sand Force. He's not even Sheer Force. He's Sand Force. Okay. So that's actually way better because Sheer Force is busted, by the way, for those who don't know. Sheer Force Lander is one of the most threatening things ever. Okay, so Earth Power is always going to be his strongest move to hit me. And Rock Slide would be his other strongest move to hit me. So if I have a fully specially defensive Reuniclus, and I'm, let's say, Calm. Let's call it Calm. Um... And I have leftovers, right? Like, we'll run leftovers. He's doing 31% to me, but it's not significant. And I can always... If I have Hidden Power Ice, I'd probably just one-shot. I don't, but it's, it's like, a good amount of damage. So it's enough that I can come in on him and stall him out, unless he starts super critting me. So I think that, like, specially offensive Reuniclus is totally fine. So... Okay, so what I'm gonna do... Let's fix some things around here real quick. Um, your hardy nature... Oh my god, those stats... Okay, um, well, let's give you a, a defensive nature. I'll make you probably bold. It's fine. Um, so you're good. You're going to be calm, so we're going to change you to calm. Because we want to be fully specially defensive. And you're relaxed. We're going to make you... Okay, so this is another scenario where we need to, like, check a calc. So, if I have... Mega Swampert at level 82. How much speed do I need to be able to outspeed the Mega Sceptile 100% of the time? So level 82 Mega Sceptile hits 145 speed with Jolly. Is it space? So that puts it at 350. So we need to make sure that we hit 350 speed, which means we need a significant amount of speed. Um, We can still be adamant, though. Okay, so we don't need as much as I thought, actually. So, 152, 152 speed on Mega Swampert Adamant guarantees you outspeed. The only other things that might be worth mentioning is, where does that put me against Huntail? Do I outspeed max speed Huntail? You always want to check that if he's plus two Huntail. He's jolly. So, that puts him at 362. So, that's another calc. So, this is, I'm just going to give you guys a little insight into my brain here, okay? So, right now, what I'm calcing, and I'll see if I can show you guys a display. There it is. So right now what I'm calculating is I'm, I'm looking into the feasibility of what speed stat I want on my Swampert and what nature I'm going to choose. So I had evaluated, okay, I need to hit approximately um, this speed set right here, 152 speed investment with max uh, speed IV to outspeed the Sceptile at level 82 with Jolly max speed. But I'm double checking those calcs and I'm noticing that Huntail with max speed Jolly, as the document indicates, at plus two, which would be after a Shell Smash, would actually outspeed me. So... We're just trying to count for every scenario. So we want to actually hit 180 speed adamant max speed uh, IV, which then outspeeds the Huntail. So the next thing we look at is we would look at Jirachi, and we'll look at a level 81 Jirachi, and we'll do max speed Jolly. And then we're going to throw a Scarf on him. So he actually hits 400 speed, right? So if I want to hit 400 speed, I actually have to switch to Jolly if I want to outspeed the Jirachi, right? We would need to get to this speed tier which would be 188 jolly but then i have to ask myself okay do i lose out on ko's because of that right so we know we're gonna have ice punch 
And we know we're gonna have power up punch. And I don't think I need liquidation. No, you don't need liquidation. So I would probably run brick break. Um, so without anything, I'm always KOing the Jirachi, so that's not a concern. I know I'm gonna KO the Deoxys, so that's not a concern. With power up punch, not a big deal. Yep. Um, and then Landorus, we're always KOing, so I don't have to calc that. Let's look at Zapdos, right? So if you have a Zapdos, am I gonna get the KO if I Ice Punch him? I am not, but if I'm plus one, I still don't get it, right? So to me, I know I'm gonna roughly be plus one at this situation. So I actually think I'm gonna backtrack and go back to being adamant and just forgo the fact that Jirachi will outspeed me. I think that that is the play here. Cause I'm pretty sure Jirachi comes in and he just clicks U-turn anyway. I don't I don't think he wants to stay in. Pretty sure he just clicks U-turn. It would be nice to outspeed it, but I think you have to have that damage for the, the Zapdos. Cause if I'm Jolly, you miss out on that KO. You have 94 to 111 on Galar Zapdos. You don't get the KO. Although, does Liquidation get it in Rain? So Liquidation and Rain gets it instead of Ice Punch. So I could do that. And then we can still run Adamant. Or we can run Jolly and have Liquidation with Ice Punch and still outspeed the... Still outspeed the Jirachi. And I don't think that hurts any of my KOs. Huntail is just an annoying thing anyway because he's going to intimidate me regardless. So those are just the things that we want to like consider right now. So in rain, Liquidation does get the KO on Zapdos if I'm Jolly. Ice Punch may not though, but Liquidation in rain will. So it's kind of one or the other. You choose really, which which you kind of pick your poison, I guess, is really what it comes down to. Do I want to outspeed Jirachi or do I want to guarantee a KO with Ice Punch on Zapdos and free up Brick Break for Huntail? But Huntail really isn't a concern as much in this battle for me. So I think I am going to go Jolly and take the speed against the Jirachi. Because I remember last time the Jirachi came in and he U-turned on me, I'm pretty sure. And that was really annoying. So max speed, Jirachi. As we indicated earlier, hits... We'll do Timid. 400. So we need to hit... 402. So we need 188 speed. So let me just open up a notepad. Which in this case, I may just run max max just to make it easier. But we are going to go with Jolly this time on the Swampert. I don't have enough money. Okay, so I got to go farm some money actually real quick before I do anything else. Back to farming monies. Um, Where am I at? Where's my Pelipper? There it is. Hey, Roboito, what's going on, man? Thank you so much for the support, dude. All right, let's head down yonder. And let's head up here and do this and this. The Landorus is Sheer Force, your last battle. It did not summon a Sandstorm. Sand Force doesn't summon a Sandstorm, dude. Sand Force increases the damage output that you have in a Sandstorm. So it could be Sheer Force. I don't know the answer to that. Why do I have you in the front? I'll probably be really safe with the Renekless anyway. But I don't know. But now Zapdos gives us another answer to a couple different things. It gives us a backup plan if the Swampert situation doesn't work out as planned. So that's the good news. But I need some more Poke Dollars. No, you didn't have anything. Okay. Hey, what's up, Virus? How's it going, man? Thank you, Mark Zach the Mad, for nine months, by the way. Appreciate the support, dude. Okay, so I just have to thief like a handful of lucky eggs real quick and a lot of the team is already trained for this battle So it should be a relatively quick training session. I have to just tweak a handful of things But this should hopefully be a Swampert sweep But there are a few instances where it, it kind of goes a little bit awry and that's really if Huntail comes in early and intimidates That's a little bit of a problem um, There's a few different things that kind of factor in but we should be okay either way because I have some Oh, hi there, Thunderous. He always runs, right? 
He always runs, I think. I might just quick ball him. Right, let's just try it. Maybe I'll get lucky. Yeah, he runs. Okay. See you later. Hey, what's up, Manu Stark? What'd you think, man? Hope you enjoyed it. Dan, you will postpone you Shining Sword DLC for Crown Tundra. Did you watch this morning's video? Because I said in the video that I'm postponing it. <laughs> How long am I streaming today? My plan is to get to the Elite Four, if I can, I think. Because I really want to allow myself to just be where I need to be, so that way I can start preparing for Elite Four. And this time, I am probably going to take a few days to prepare. Like, last time I kind of rushed, and I didn't take it as seriously as I should have. And I went into it understanding that I was probably going to lose to Water Lorelei. So this time, I'm going to really take a little bit of extra time, because I don't want to do it again. So, I have to get to the Elite... No, I'm not doing the Elite Four today, guys. Listen, full expectations, no Elite Four today. The hope is to get to the Elite Four today, though. That is the plan. But again, I am not battling the Elite Four today. It's not happening. So... Um... It's just not gonna happen. I need to, like, I don't wanna play Radical Red all the way over again. I really wanna beat it this time, so. I have two left. Let's grab two more. And then we should have enough money to train at least. Will you attempt the Elite Four today? <laughs> Dude, I swear, man. I don't even know. I don't even know, guys. I'm out of words. Um, what's up, Soul? How's it going? <laughs> okay. Um, I have to assume trolls. Okay, so... Zapdos. Zappy Bird. Okay. All right, so... Oh, I need to sell these stuff. This, this stuff. Oops. Okay, let's go here. Oh, can't get through the door. Okay, we are going to sell... Five damp rocks, and where's my lucky eggs? How do you sort? Like, how, how do I sort? Because I always run into this situation where I don't know how to sort these buttons. I don't know the buttons for stuff. Wait, where is the lucky egg? There it is. Start swords. Yeah, but I don't know what the start button is. It's, oh, there you go. Huh, that was nice. Okay. <laughs> Don't mind me. All right, so we have money now, so we can do the things I gotta do. So, let's change you to Jolly. Okay, so you're Jolly. You're relaxed, which is fine. That's what we want for Sceptile and Huntail anyway. You're relaxed, but I think I'm gonna make you sassy. So you're gonna be sassy. And... You're fine, you are calm, which is also fine, and you are bold, which is also fine. So, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna deposit Reuniclus, no, 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 no. I'm gonna deposit Meganium, and I'm gonna deposit Crabrawler, and I need to retrain you guys. So let me think about that for a second. So, let's stat scan. Actually, what ability do you have? Pressure, right? Okay, let's fix your ability and make it static. Okay. Then we're gonna check all of our stats real quick. So you should have nothing. You are max HP, max defense. So we're just gonna wipe you. Okay. And then Polly, he's max defense, but we need him to be max special defense. So let's wipe that. And then the Reuniclus is max defense. Okay, so here's where I'm gonna get a little fancier. I've got my Reuniclus. And I'm gonna be regen, I think. So let's actually be Assault Vest with regen. If I were to leave, I am worried that he is sheer force, just on the off chance that he is sheer force. I'm gonna calc for sheer force. If I were to leave just a little bit, no, if I, I don't want to be a soul vest. I want to be leftovers. Earth power special defense drop would be detrimental, though. It would actually be detrimental. He's max special attack, too. I need to count that. 
Yeah, you need to be a soul vest, I think, in this battle. That still pushes him to go for earth power. I think you just go max max and just go with assault vest and then have and then have um regenerator. He's magic guard, so we need to be regenerator. Let's buy an ability pill or like let's just get five for now. Okay, so we actually need hidden ability. Alright, we're on regen. Okay, so we're max defense, so we want to go uh, max special defense. So we're going to wipe those defenses, and then we're going to go max special defense. Alright, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to grab hidden power. Whatever that is. So let's actually grab Psychic too. We get rid of Psy Shock for Psychic. And then we want Hidden Power. And I'm pretty sure I'm HP Ice already. If I'm not mistaken. I am HP Ice. And then... Coal Mine is fine. I don't think we use it though. We have, co we have Recover. We have Psychic, Hidden Power, Coal Mine, Recover. But that's all we need. Shadow Ball would be nice, but I never got it. <laughs> So I don't have that for Jirachi, but that's okay. Um, you can deal with that. So I think I think that's everything I have to do right now. You need special defense. You need special defense. You need physical defense and HP. Okay. So let's go train now. We're going to head over here. Let's drop off. Drop off you. And drop off you. And let's train these two in special defense. Power this one. And then Macho Brace, I guess. Okay, so this should only take like two rounds. Three uh four rounds probably. Alright, so we're gonna max these out in special defense. Okay. Pew, pew, pew! Destroy everything. Oh. Okay, so he should be good. Yep, and you're close. So just one battle for Polly. Okay, so that should train out these two. Okay, so now I'm gonna just grab the damp rock and give that to Polly. I'm gonna grab the assault vest, which is in my PC right now. Let's go grab that. Let's save just in case of a crash. Okay, let's move items and let's grab that assault vest, which is on you. Oh, I can't run recover if I have assault vest though, but I kind of need it actually. Kind of need the assault vest. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just run Assault Vest. Even though I'm Assault Vest Recovered, I know it's stupid, but there's no other real moves that I'm gonna run on this thing. I guess, I guess I could give him, um, like, Future Sight, but generally, you're just gonna, you're just coming in to, to stop the Landorus if I have to. So it's a non-issue. i just give him Future Sight or something. Thunder Wave, uh, Future Sight. You get Energy Ball, right? I guess I'll give you Energy Ball, why not? And then I'll give you, you can have Focus Blast. What would you even hit with Focus Blast? Nothing, really. Future Sight is kind of spicy. I'll give you Future Sight. Where is it? I know it's here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so that's good. So he's fine, because I'll, I'll be able to predict what the Landers is going to do anyway. So it's a non-issue. All right, so you're a Sassy Assault Vest. I probably want to fix those stats. How much money do I have? Not enough to, to do it. I don't think I'm going to. Okay, so those two are done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab Crab and Meganium. Both of those are done, if I'm not mistaken. So Crab is Brave Focus Sash. I need, no, he's not done. I have to go add some moves to him. So let's Poke Rider to here. I need Ice Shard. 
Hope I have the mushrooms for it. Yeah. So I need an ice shard. So we don't need iron head. We want ice shard. He's focused, Sash, so he always lives. So this thing is so good, dude. It comes in. It always can ice shard the Landorus. It can always ice shard the Sceptile. It can always ice shard the Zapdos. It can always mock punch and drain punch the Huntail, so you never lose. And you have focus sash on him, so you never lose to any of those things. He's so good. And you can even power up punch to get a plus one and then sweep with the rest, so he's so good. Um, and then Meganium, I think, is also fun. Uh, he's physically defensive. Renoclus gets drain punch, but his attack is really bad, so it's not worth it. So he's physically defensive, and your job is to deal with Sceptile as well as Huntail. And you just have Draining Kiss and Giga Drain, so that's all good. You don't need any of those. Okay, so those two are trained up as well. So we have four of our six. And then the last two Mons are... We have Zapdos and Swampert. So Zapdos needs to be max HP, max defense. So we're going to train him next. So let's sort by name. And then let's go grab the power... We'll grab the one for HP is fine. We're going to max his HP. Um, let's go. Where is it? Pokey Rider down here. No max his HP out first. And everyone else is already trained, so it's fine. So let's get his HP done. I just discharge. Okay, and then let's grab another one. HP. Okay, and then now I just need to give him the power belt for his defenses, and then we'll do the same thing for defense. So we're gonna make him max defense, and the reason why is uh, Zapdos always 1v1s Jirachi without any issues. Like, you never have to worry, because you could just static him. It's also a really reliable answer to, to Zapdos in case the Zapdos gets a little scary. Because um, you can basically always stop Zapdos. Brave Bird, close combat, you resist both. Um, and then you could just U-turn or Volt Switch out, doesn't really matter. So, and you just run Roost on him. Okay, so he's Eve trained. I'll just double check it, but he should be fine. Yep, max HP, max defense. Okay, so now we just need some, some attacks. So we need Roost is the first thing I need. And I'm actually going to give him U-turn. This is why we're going to run U-turn instead of Volt Switch is just because I don't want to run into a situation where I get kind of messed up where I go to try to switch out with a Volt Switch and then for some reason, like, he switches in his Landorus or something stupid. Um, so what do I have right now? I have... U-turn, Discharge, Roost, Light Screen. I guess I can give him Volt Switch in that regard. Ideally, you have HP Ice here, but I don't think I want to spend the time to get the resources for HP Ice. Just because it is a lot of effort for me to get it right now. And it would take a while to get the money for it, unless I just get lucky. And HP Dragon. So, in that case, I think probably, um, probably Volt Switch is okay. Just because there's not really anything else you're going to run. Again, his job is like a defensive answer to a lot of things. So if Landorus is gone, that's really helpful. So the last thing I need to do, why don't you give him a leftovers for sure? Whatever those are. Probably in my bag. Oh, nope, just saw it. So you get a leftovers. And then I just need to train the Swampert now. And then I think we're in good shape. And then we gotta get their levels fixed, but that's fine. Okay, so now we're going to give you the power item for attack, which I just saw. Power Bracer. So we're going to max out Swampert's attack here. He should be jolly. Yep. So let's max out his attack right now. Nice punch. Okay, and then one more for attack. Okay, and then basically we want to do speed. Um, the plan was to run one. I need the anklets. We want to get 188 speed on the Swampert. So let's do speed. What's up, Ricardo? I don't really have an answer for that. Hello, Sis. Yeah, let me see how I get through this battle first. Okay, let's see where we're at now. So he's 162, so I need a little bit more speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the item off. And then I'm just going to go do speed again. And then this should give us 3, 6, 9, 12. 
15, 18. And we wanted 188, we hit 180. So, what I can do now, that's probably easy. Pikachu gives speed if I'm not mistaken, so we could just go battle a couple Pikachus real quick. So that's one. And that should give two speed EVs if I'm not mistaken. Nope. So that puts me at 182, so we'll just do this um, a few more times. So that's 184. I could have put the Macho Brace on it, but that's okay. 186. And this will put me at 188. Okay. So that should be 188 now. Yep. So 188 speed. So now we just have to max his HP. Which shouldn't be an issue. I would have loved a Nikata on this playthrough. I feel like I would I would do so well with Nikata on this. I feel like Nikata would actually be broken in this. Uh, what's up, Rach? Okay. So now I'm going to give you the HP boosting. Since we did everything else. So we want power, where is it? We want the power weight, and let's just max our HP. And we're there, but we have to finish the battle. And then we just wanna double check a couple of these stats, and then we just have to get everyone leveled up. Let's take that, let's give him the Swamper Tights, which is right there. Everyone else has held items. Need to get levels. Basically, for Shocker is the only thing that needs the levels. So let's let's actually just give him a Lucky Egg. And let's just get that level. Lucky Egg. Let's just grab that, and then I'll do the last bit of prep. Uh, did not mean to Volt Switch. No. Oh, it didn't even work. Okay, I'll just roost. Oh, uh, I didn't even get the Volt Switch off because he knocked himself out. Okay, makes sense. 76, 77, 8. I want Slim Thunder. No. One more round. One, 80, 81, and this will put it at 82. All right, perfect. Okay, I think we're good. Just need to do the final tweaks in terms of move set now. All right, so we actually need power up punch for you. Okay, so you're bold. Uh, I don't know if I want to fix any of that. You turn discharge roost. You still beat the Jirachi every time though. Um, you are assault vest, sassy with regenerator, psychic heat power, ice energy ball, future sight. You are for Landorus. You are focus sash brave. With the power punch, mock punch, drain punch, ice shard. You are relaxed leftovers for septile and huntail, I guess. Giga drain, draining kiss. I do wonder if Yachi bear would be better. Just because it makes sure you never lose to, um, I'm gonna do that. It makes sure you never lose to the, you never lose to the huntail if you're Yachi berry. And then Polly is calm with max special defense. Damp Rock with Drizzle. Scald Flip Turn Hypnosis Ice Beam is perfect. And then Kip is Jolly Swamper Tight, Max Attack, Max, not Max Speed, but close. Uh, 183 is what I want it to be, right? So, oh, uh, am I Jolly? Oh, I'm looking at regular Swamper. Uh, 183 is exactly right. Because that allows us to hit 201, which means we hit 402, which means we have to be Jirachi. So that's good. Okay, so I think... Let me just double check your set. You are Ice Punch, Earthquake, Liquidation, Power Punch. So you Power Punch the Deoxys, and then you should sweep everything else. Optional Dupes Clause is dumb. Okay, no one asked for your opinion. Um. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna do a stat scan on everybody just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Max HP, Max Special Defense. Max HP, Max Special Defense. Max HP, Max Attack. Max HP, Max Defense. Max HP, Max Defense. Max attack, 188 speed, 70 HP, perfect, okay. All right, so we should be able to sweep this, if I'm not mistaken. One thing I do wanna do, before I forget about it, let's actually Poke Rider over here, because that's our next destination, let's heal. Let's get into a battle in the grass, and let's see what the button is that I need. It's probably gonna be a legendary, no it's not. Okay, what is the button? 
to C. E R space E R D. What is E? It's not the E button. I don't know what the key is. Like what the controller key is. Same as the deck snap button, S. Ah, there it is, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now I know what it is, okay. I really wanted to know that because I, I hadn't known it up to this point and I feel like it's a little sketchy. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick two minute break just to stretch um, and then we're gonna jump into this battle for Brendan. I think I'm, I'm ready for it, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I think we're good to go. I, I do just wanna run through this one more time. I know I do that a lot, but I'd rather make sure that I don't make mistakes. So this thing always lives against Deoxys. It can always live a Psycho Boost and it just flip turns out. Flip turn in rain with the Drizzle. Dan Brock gives us eight turns of rain. It knocks the Deoxys down to Focus Sash 100% of the time. From there, you go into Swamper, but we'll get to that in a minute. Nucleus here has the Assault Vest. It is fully specially defensive with Sassy. It comes in against Landorus. It can always take Earth Powers, Sludge Waves, Aura Spheres, etc. It can go for Hidden Power Ice and deal a massive amount of damage back. And we do have the Regenerator, so if things get a little sketchy, we have some extra backup plans there. Thank you, Quack. Thank you, Tori. Appreciate the love. Thank you guys for the love. We've got Crabrawly here, which has the Focus Sash, which means we never lose to most of these things. Because you can always bring it in in a late game situation. And you can Power a Punch into Ice, pu Ice Shard plus Mach Punch. It hits most of the team super effectively, so it's actually really good. We've got Kaylee here, which is Yachi Berry to take a potential Ice Fang from a plus two Huntail in case that becomes problematic. But otherwise, it is very, very physically defensive. It completely walls Sceptile and Huntail very, very well. And the Yachi Berry ensures that we guarantee live pretty much all those attacks. And we've got the Giga Drain and the Draining Kiss for that. Shocker is fully physically defensive with the leftovers and the static ability. That's going to allow us to take on the Jirachi incredibly well because if he goes for U-turn or anything, I can paralyze him with potential static. And I'm not really uh, super weak to the potential Iron Head flinching or Zen Headbutt flinching shenanigans that otherwise would do mis uh, be doomful. And then we've got Swampert with the Swampert type, Jolly Nature. That's going to allow us to outspeed Jirachi with the Choice Scarf 100% of the time and one-shot it with Earthquake. It does mean we have to Liquidation against Zapdos, though. So in the context of us being plus one in rain, Liquidation against Zapdos is our play, not Ice Punch. Otherwise, we Ice Punch everything else. We outspeed the entire team in rain. Power Punch comes in for Deoxys. You activate the Power Punch to break his Focus Sash, or ultimately to knock out Deoxys. At plus one, you should sweep the team. The only time that doesn't work out is if the Huntail comes in early and intimidates us, in which case you just start spamming Earthquakes. You outspeed the Huntail anyway. He's really not a threat at that point. Uh, we do have to remember we are going to be a little bit of reduced HP because the Deoxys almost certainly goes for extreme speed there on that turn, but everything else should be fine. So, okay, I think that's that. If you caught any of that, let me know. All right. I feel like sometimes it must just feel like I'm not even speaking English, guys. I apologize to any of you <laughs> who get lost in the sauce on that. Um, but if you if you got it, then it's a great learning experience, right? So, okay. We got Zappy Bird. We've got Nucleus. Oh, good. Uh, you're playing on a server? Nice, man. All right, let's get uh, Renucleus on the layout here. Love that. And then we want Kerbomitable on the layout. Kerbomitable is very good in this playthrough. I, I always recommend it. It's one of those Pokemon that I feel like both times I've done this game, it's been useful in a handful of battles. That's really all you can ask, right? You can't expect every Pokemon, excuse me, to be on the team every time. But there are instances where something like Kerbomitable can make all the difference. It's just, it, and I really love running it with a Focus Sash because it guarantees you don't lose the playthrough basically which at this point 
I'll be real. I can't really afford to lose anyone because right now my theorized team for the Elite Four, three of the five, six members on the team right now are my theorized team for the Elite Four. So, um, which is still being worked out. I have five of the six in mind. Um, okay, so I think that that's good. We've got Polly. Everything's good. I think I'm good. Okay, I have to uh, get there now. So let's just get there. I'm gonna throw down a repel as well. I already got my encounter here. So let's throw down a repel. Super repel. And again, I do ask guys very nicely, please, please, please do not backseat game during this battle, okay? Just watch, enjoy. If you have fun comments or emotes you wanna post, by all means, please don't spam. But I really, I really prefer if people don't, you know, spend their time telling me what moves to click. With all due respect, you know, I play Pokemon for a really long time, so uh, it's just, it's just best if I if I get to pick the moves, okay? That's part of the challenge. But if I have a question or I run into an issue or anything like that, I will definitely let you guys know, and I'll ask for help, okay? All right, let's do it, man. This battle is uh, this is basically the final big battle before the Elite Four for us. So the Elite, the Victory Road is no joke. We have to be very careful in Victory Road, and I'm gonna actually create a team specific for Victory Road that doesn't involve the most important pieces that I need. But um, we do have to be very mindful. So. I think I've got everything I need. I do. Um, Psycho Boost is always a physical attack, right? Or a special attack, rather. Right? <laughs> Psycho Boost is always special, right? <laughs> yeah, it's Psycho Boost is always special. Okay. Um, Alright. Because uh, last time I almost choked that. <sighs> okay. Alright, let's see what happens. I think we can get through this. I think I think I get through this battle. It's just a matter of can I get through without losing a mon? Um, I don't know the answer to that yet, so we'll find out shortly. Semi trick room team, interesting. I don't even have trick room, bro. <laughs> okay. This is a big one. This is a big one. Last badge. All right, this is the Brendan battle right here. Let's do it. Wait up! All right, I'm here for you, buddy. I got destroyed by Archer and ran away in shame. You know, recently, I don't know. I know I'm not a bad trainer by any means. I can snag gym badges, sure, but I've always wanted to be an incredible trainer like my dad. And I really thought that as long as I put the effort in work, I could be one of the best, but I can never put a dent in you. Even trainers like Archer have shown me how far the gap between us has become. It's becoming clear to me that I'm not very strong, just alone, ta let alone talented. Is that what I'm missing? An innate trait that some are just gifted with. I just can't accept that. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. I don't care, hey, drive we're battling. I won't take no for an answer. And then somehow he has like multiple legendaries and mythicals out of nowhere. Like, where did you find these? All right, Polylicious, baby. Let's do the thing that you always do, Polylicious. And that is set up the rain, make it rain, Polly. And uh, flip turn out. He super, he actually superpowers this time instead. So he superpowers instead, which is actually very good for me because I always live it, which is good. I, I, I fixed my calc this time so I don't mess up. He's always going to live this flip turn because he's uh, focus sash. But the nice thing about it is I drop his attack stat, which now means his extreme speed against Swampert does less damage. And that's actually really valuable. So now we go into Swampert. And if all goes well, we sweep from here. But it's, it's not always quite that straightforward. So we'll have to see because that Huntail could slow us down a little bit. We probably have to navigate that. So I'm going to Mega Evolve and we are going to Power Up Punch. So now we Mega Evolve as planned. We're gonna outspeed the Deoxys. Power Up Punch is gonna give us a plus one attack, which is going to allow us to be sitting at plus one. And then we basically one shot the rest of the team. However, as I mentioned, if Huntail comes in, it does get an attack drop on us, at which point I then have to make a tough decision. He didn't even actually extreme speed, I'm surprised. Uh, I have to make a tough decision on how I want to approach that. I may end up just going for Power Up Punch into Earthquake, but we'll see what he's going to do. Because I think I can take a Liquidation since I have full health anyway. So, here comes Sceptile. Sceptile hits the field. Now, we're going to just do... I'm just going to be super hyper uh, attentive here. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. But I'm pretty sure this happened last time, and all I have to do is click Ice Punch. But I'm just going to double check every calc I did, of course. So max speed hits 350 speed on Sceptile, level 82. Ice Punch always KOs, so there's really no concern here. You just click Ice Punch. And Sceptile, of course, is Dragon and Grass in this game. Um, so we should be okay here. 
<sighs> Metagross is still alive, guys. Metagross never died. Okay. This Ice Punch here is always going to KO Sceptile. Yeah, Metagross is still alive, guys. Okay, so that's two down. Alright, what is he sending next? It's going to be Jirachi next. And this is exactly the scenario that we planned for. Because I'm faster than Jirachi this time. Whereas when I did attempt one in Radical Red, I was not faster than Jirachi. This time I am faster than Jirachi. And that's because I went with the Jolly nature instead of the Adamant nature. Which again does potentially cost us a KO on the Zapdos. But uh, I still have it at this point because I can always Liquidation. So we're in a really good spot right now. And it's going to be Landorus next. We always Ice Punch Landorus. I guess you could Liquidation and get the KO either way. So we should be fine at this point. The only thing that concerns me now is basically the um, the Huntail, but I beat the Huntail <laughs> with, with Meganium. Um, so he could stop my sweep maybe with it, but I think we're in good shape at this point. Uh, let me just open up this dock here. Uh, so it's Zapdos and Landorus left. Here comes the Zapdos. Uh, I'm just going to double check that calc and make sure I'm not missing something. But Galarian Zapdos at level 81. Me going for Liquidation at plus one in rain. Does 119 to 141. He is max HP. I'm sorry, max attack, max speed. Jolly, we always outspeed. He's choice banded. We always outspeed. So we just click liquidation. And this should KO, no problem. Ice Punch wouldn't, but liquidation will. And that's just because the rain boost and stab makes all the difference there. And then the last thing left is going to be the Huntail. And with the Huntail, all you do is Earthquake twice. Um... I suppose I could try to be a little savvy here. Let me see if the Huntail at level 81 went for Liquidation in rain to me. He does 37-ish, maybe about half. He does about half, but he's not going to be able to Shell Smash. And even if he does Shell Smash, I outspeed. So now at neutral, Earthquake does 70%. So we legitimately just click Earthquake. Um... We don't really need to do anything else. Because if he Shell Smashes, I'm still faster. And if he Liquidations, I outspeed him the following turn anyway. So this actually went better than last time. And he actually does Shell Smash. But again, um, I am going to outspeed this thing 100% of the time. I'm just going to 1 million percent just do my due diligence here. So he hits 362. And I hit 402. So, yeah, we're good. Okay, so he Shell Smashes. And then I just click Earthquake. Nice. Okay, so Brendan goes down to the uh, the Swamper Kip Sweep. Uh, the Swamper Polytoad Sweep, which <laughs> I love doing. Uh, I quite like doing that. That's always fun. Um, and sorry, Brendan, but you're, you're gone. So thanks. So he gives me the Destiny of not, and then he just disappears. And now we save, and we heal. So I spent all that time preparing for the battle, and I only needed two Pokemon. But uh, I'd rather be safe than sorry. So... Now, there's there's a battle that I really want to do. Well, there's a few things I really want to do. First things first, we have to get through Victory Road, <laughs> which I don't want to do, but I have to get through Victory Road. So, what I want to do now is I am going to, I am going to look at the level cap. I think it goes to 85, and now we don't have any more level caps. It's 85. It's just 85 now. So, this is the level cap. So, we have to get through... We have to get through Victory Road. You can't skip all the trainers, but you can skip most of the trainers. I think I want to get through Victory Road before I do anything else. And what I'm going to do for Victory Road is I am going to preserve all the Pokemon that I think could potentially be on my final team. And we're going to bring other things, basically. Because I do not want to risk losing any important Pokemon right now. Um, I might want to keep you... I don't want to risk losing anything that could be super important. You guys are great, though. I'll keep you guys around. Um, I probably bring Snorlax just because I have two, so I always have a backup Snorlax if I need it. Um, I think we have to bring Miss Magius. There's just too many things that blow up in this situation. I remember there was one trainer that was so hard that had the, um, the Ampharos. I know, Cashews. I've already gotten that. I already lost to the Elite Four once, guys, so I, I'm aware. There was that one dude who had that Ampharos that was, like, ridiculous. I think you bring Gyarados, just because it's Gyarados. 
Are there any glaring weaknesses here? I probably want to bring, um, I probably bring Crook as well. Just because Crook is super good. So, yeah, I think you're Intimidate, High Horsepower, Brick Break, Earthquake. You're like a physically defensive Gyarados, which is fine. You're especially defensive, that's fine. You need to be leveled up, but you're fine as well. So let me just get these couple levels I need, and then we're gonna try to go through Victory Road with the team. We do not want to wipe to Victory Road. <laughs> we do not want to wipe to Victory Road. Um, that would be detrimental. So let's not let that happen. Let's not let that happen. So let's, let's max out these levels real quick. Let's go to Lavender. And then there's one boss battle that I know I definitely want to take on, but we'll see how it goes. So let's get these levels done first. Get everyone to 85. He wants to learn Moonblast, which is a nice pickup. Let's get everyone to 85. Oh, sorry. Let me... Let's get rid of the music. Okay. By the way, I'm rocking that uh, 004 t-shirt. These are still available, uh, if anyone's interested. Want to get grass now for Erica? Uh, I'm gonna have to run some calcs. Like, this is planned to be the last stream before the Elite Four. There is a chance that like I come up with an idea and it involves me having to do another battle or something. Like, I have to go get, you know, like you mentioned, uh, Ener uh, grass knot or something. Um, I don't necessarily anticipate that being a concern, but um, there is that possibility. Yes. So, if that happens, then I'll just do a short like little battle. Uh, so it goes to over level, but that's okay. Everyone else is 85 except for Garristein, but he'll get there anyway, so it's fine. Um, okay, let's grab let's grab these items and give them better items. What do you have? You have leftovers. Okay, you can take your leftovers back. And you can definitely take your leftovers, and you can have, like, a... I don't know what you want. What do you want? Give me, like, a life orb or something? I'm gonna try to dodge as many trainers as possible. That is my plan. Where's my life orb? Oh, you know what? It's on Metagross, I think. What's up, Pyrax? Ghost is 86. Again, guys, I, I've said this many times, guys. Being one level over the level cap is not an issue. In fact, I plan to make it so as many of my Pokemon are one level over for the Elite Four. Uh, I, I don't play some people play with different rules guys My rule is the level cap is the soft cap that the game imposes if you go one level over it is not an issue If you go more than that over then you might not your Pokemon may not listen So those are the thoughts there. Okay, so I'm gonna put shady in the front because I'm intimidating Oh, we have an encounter too guys Okay, so we do have an encounter as well um, So let's get I, I totally forgot we had an encounter coming up this is this is a big one. This could be good. We could we might want want to um, get something good here. I'm pretty sure floor one is the best one for this, but let me look. Okay. So victory road floor one is um. Yeah, I think you just take floor one because Machamp Audino are both really good. In fact, I would actually potentially use Audino. I think we want Audino. So, let's turn double battles on, and then if I can get an Audino right now, believe it or not, I'd be pretty thrilled about that. I'd be pretty thrilled about that. Yeah, right, we're gonna turn double battles on, and let's go get that encounter. Um, because Audino would be so good. Who's who else is in the front? Let's put um, let's put Ghost in the front and Shady in the front. That means I KO the Machamp if it shows up. I just want to make sure I don't. I do have double intimidate though, so we'll be okay. All right, so let's Pokey Rider. Um, I can't go all the way to Indigo, but I can go to Viridian. And then we'll travel to get that encounter. Yeah, I took Mega Audino last time in the Elite Four and it didn't work out as well as I initially planned, but that was my own kind of situation. There was a lot of intimidate there. Um, all right, so let's Super Repel, which I have plenty of. Let's go get this encounter. Most recent sub or give sub giver gets to name it. Which is quite good. And this this could be a big encounter. There's a handful of things that are not very good here. But there's also some really good stuff. Marowak is super good. Um, I, I Honestly, I just want Audino. I think. I think I just want Audino. I would take Machamp. I don't think I'd use it though. But I, I would love Audino right now. Is there a den to check? There is a den to check. You're right. 
There is a den to check. So actually, maybe let's go to the den too. I have repels down. Let's try to get through Victory Road. I have an encounter. Let's get to that den and then see kind of where we're at. I missed a Mega Stone. I don't think it's... I, if I need it, I'll go back and get it. Okay, so I'm going to do my absolute best to avoid every trainer I can, guys. We do not want to battle trainers. Yeah, the den is towards the end. So we want to try to avoid every trainer we can. And if we have to battle them, I have a team that I think will be okay, but... We definitely want to try to avoid it. Oh, well, there's that. That was a good start. Galvantula. It's going to Volt Switch into Sheninja. Oh, boy. Shady. Wicked Blow. It's going to burn me. Wicked Blow. Okay. Galvantula. He's going to Bug Buzz. He's going to switch, I think. I'm going to Facade anyway. He goes Absol. I think he goes Shady here. He could have Superpower. Uh, he could have Superpower. You go Gera. Oh, it's Mega. He does superpower. He doesn't superpower again. He's got knockoff. He wants to superpower again here. Clay Ruffs. Okay. Bruxish. Psychic Water. He doesn't go for a water move here, so I'm gonna go with Shady. Psychic Fangs. Liquidation. Switches out into Galvantula again. Bug buzz. Volt switch into Ambipalm is dead. Okay. What does he go for? Psychic fangs. Now he goes liquidation. He went for crunch. He goes for crunch again. Psychic fangs. Okay. Okay. He wants to crunch again. Oh, you can't use priority moves. Almost choked that energy ball. No crits. Galvantula. Dude. I hate these trainers, man. <laughs> They're all so legit. They're all so legit. You have to be so careful. Bro, you cannot mess around, guys. Like, I accidentally just ran into that trainer. And that could have been so bad, dude. Every trainer's like that. There's one with Mega Ampharos that's even worse, dude. We need to, like, dodge all the trainers, guys. We need to, like, really dodge trainers, bro. This has me sketched out. Safe to go over here to get these items. Always take the TM. I have not Jazzy now. Oh! Heavy duty 
boots. Okay, there's no trainers over here. <laughs> I've never been this cautious to avoid trainers before, dude, but I just can't right now. I know that it's just a mistake. Is there anyone? I, I don't know where the trainer is over there, though. Um... Oh, he turns. Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Chat. What are we doing right now? Oh my gosh. Sandstorm. Okay. okay there's a dragon guy there. Like a ninja. Oh, 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 what are you doing there? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Get out of my way, dude. What are you doing? All right, is it this ladder? I'm gonna sneak up here. Oh, there's a TM over there, but there's no way. There's no way it's worth it. There's no way it's worth it. We're going upstairs. Okay. All right, I think I gotta take that pebble. <laughs> Call it a pebble. I think I gotta take that pebble and drop it down a hole somewhere. This is, I think, the way to Moltres. Yeah, pretty sure this is the way to Moltres over here. Thank you, Subjectile. How's it going, man? Pretty sure this is to Moltres. Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're not concerned about that. There's a dude right there, so we're gonna leave that guy be. Am I gonna catch Moltres? No, there's no way I bring Moltres to the lead four anyway, so it's not worth the effort. I just wanna get through Victory Road right now. That's all I want right now. Okay. All right, so that's good. All right, you just don't battle me. Do you ever turn? Not to me, at least. Okay, so we want to take the high path. Can you dodge both of these? Or no? I don't think you can dodge them, can you? You can? Is it the high path or the low path? High path. So now this needs to be pushed, I think, all the way over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. We're almost there, guys. <laughs> Just don't choke, A-Drive. Just don't choke. Managed to get one trainer so far. You stay there. Okay. Okay, this guy's not a trainer, right? He's close combat. Right? I mean, it looks like I'm gonna have to battle him anyway, but I'm pretty sure he's close combat. Okay. Okay, so here's where we're at, guys. I have a potential dead encounter. We're gonna look at it, see what it is. If it's not what we want, then we'll just get a random encounter. That's how I've been playing this whole series. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's see it. What is my option? It's Regis Steel. I don't think I take it. I think I gamble on Audino. I already have a Metagross. I'm about to get Mega Metagrossite. I don't think you take Regis Steel. I don't think you take Regis Steel at all. Okay, so what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna grab Protect. Actually, 
all you have to do is you just switch to the ghost on turn one, right? He explodes his Gigalith, and then you just win, right? It, you just don't set up rain, and you win. That's all you have to do. I'll, I'll, I'll put Protect on it just to be safe. This battle is so dumb. <laughs> Shout out to Shady, by the way. If Shady can come back from losing this battle to then win the entire Elite Four, then I think we'll be okay. All right, we'll put Protect on it. Okay, so we made it through Victory Road with skipping every single trainer. Now we have what's called the Creator Battle coming up. Uh, this is a meme. So we should always beat it. Um, you know, you just need to not set up rain and, and you win is really all you have to do. So let's do it. Okay. Well, well, you thought you could waltz into the Pokemon League without another boss battle? Who am I? I'm Supercell, the creator of the hack. Anyway, I can't let any scrubs complete my game, so I'll give you a beating. All right, so like I said, this this battle, you just go for Protect. He explodes, and then he sends out his Shedinjas, and then you just, I think you just, you just stay in. They all die to Sandstorm. Okay. I did it! <laughs> All right, and he gives me Metagross Sight, and my Metagross is alive this time. Let's go. Okay. Okay. And now we have made it to Victory Road, or to the Elite Four. <laughs> now go get your butt beat. All right, so now what I'm going to do, guys, is for safety's sake, I'm going to just take the long route. I'm going to go all the way back here. I'm going to head back into the cave. I'm going to get my encounter because I'm not taking that den. And um, and then there's one other battle that I do want to do that I'm pretty sure I want to do. And that is Lieutenant Surge. Because I, I think right now, and I didn't spend a ton of time thinking about it, but Shady winning last night inspired me to spend a little time thinking about my Elite Four team. And I think I know what I want to bring. Um, but I'm just going to be real and I'll bring this. Double encounters are on. Um, I think I know what I want to bring and I think I th Oh, I did actually want that. I think my team looks something like Politoed, Swampert, Snorlax, Meganium. There's another Pokemon I'm thinking of that I, I forgot about that I was thinking of Metagross. And then I think Audino would potentially be the last one, but I already have Snorlax, so maybe I would swap Snorlax for Audino. I'm not sure. But let's get our encounter, and then we'll decide. Uh, Glacier is another one. There. We have some really good options. So I do have my encounter now. Again, most recent sub or give sub giver gets to name it. We have one encounter here. So let's grab it. We don't know what it's going to be. Let's grab that encounter. Let me let my repel run out. We're aiming for Audino. Like I said, I'm not sure I'm using Audino either way, but that's what I would want. So let's see what we got. Let's see it. What is our encounter gonna be? It's gonna be Machamp, okay. Or, I, I mean, I could take Golbat. I don't see a world where I bring Golbat to the Elite Four, though. Like, it it could be decent, but I don't think it's good enough. So I think I think you take the Machamp here. Um, I think you take the Machamp here. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna swap you out into you, and then I'm going to Psychic the Bat. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so now I just have to catch this thing. He's gonna scary face, that's fine. I'm gonna um, Iron Head him and just start chucking balls at him, I guess. Let's just throw an Ultra Ball at him. What's up, Irate, how's it going? No way. Okay, I was gonna say, no way, dude. All right, I'm gonna Iron Head again. And then I'm just gonna yeet another ball at him. What's up, Senior Spike? Thank you, Irate. Thank you, Lamp. Senior Spike for the sub. B Town Bravo. Thank you, guys. Crobat did get a buff. Oh, womp womp. Okay, so now we just throw Ultra Balls. I would have had to see what the Crobat's buff was, but that's okay. But Champ does have a Mega in this, guys. So, and it basically has Parental Bond as its Mega ability. It hits twice. So it might be actually really good. Off. 
Any day now. Senior Spike, hit me. <laughs> hit me with a nickname, Senior Spike. Oh my god. <laughs> Any day now. Okay. <laughs> that was funny. Oh man, that was funny. If if it had mock punch or something and drain punch, if they buff it with those things, then I think it would be good. Muscle steen, baby! Keep it with the theme. It is muscle steen. Alright. Uh yeah, I should do it. Muscle steen. Okay. I am done with all that. Let me get out of here. Thank you. Okay. So now, like I said, what I'm envisioning right now, and I'm not going to prepare for the Elite Four on stream. I really need, that's something I need to take some time to like focus on on my own time. Because it, it's, I just really need the time to like sit there and run the calculations and, and really make a huge notes document. This is my second attempt of Radical Red Hardcore Nuzlocke. We've made it to the Elite Four both times. So I think that deserves a clap in itself, a drive army, right? I mean, not too shabby. But now we need to not lose because I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose the Elite Four, right? Like, we've, we worked so hard to get here. I don't want to lose, okay? So my next battle, I think, is going to be... I, I think I want to do this because I really want Light Clay. I think having Light Clay is, is a worthwhile item for me to track down. Because I think Light Clay can actually be really strong in the Elite Four. And I'm pretty sure I'm bringing... This is what I tentatively am thinking as my Elite Four team, if I'm being honest. Um, and it very well could change. But this is, this is the first five. I think that these five are very, very good. Um, and I think that they could give me a really solid chance to beat the Elite Four. I'm a big believer in in Swampert for the Elite Four. I feel like it, it runs through a lot of the teams. Um, I do have Mega Metagross, yes. So that's that's why I'm liking Metagross as well. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to bat... And I have Mega Snorlax as well. That's another option. And you could change that every battle, right? So what I want to do is I want to Battle Surge. So, but I'm going to Battle Surge without Swampert. I'm going to battle, like... I have to make sure that I, I you know, I have a, a, a different strategy for Surge. So... Let's start preparing for Surge, um, because I'm gonna battle him. He's a little tricky, though. I'm not gonna lie. So, okay, so first things first, we're, we're always bringing, I mean, this thing's amazing, so we're bringing that. We're bringing Crook. I think you bring Whiskash, probably. Just because Whiskash is really good um, in this one, I think. Although HP Grass kind of, like, runs you. I don't know. Maybe you don't bring Whiskash. Um, I think I'm gonna bring in Didi. I think in Didi could be really good, because um, you can change the terrain, and then like, hit really hard against stuff like, um, the Dene and stuff. So, I think that that could be really good. Um. No one's saying Steve. Oh, Steve. Um, Tropius four times resists. Actually, Tropius is so good. Hold up. Tropius is very good here. Um. Nuzzle, reflect, light screen, U-turn. Crook is very good. Crook is so good in this battle. Do I want a Moongus? Probably not. A Moongus does wall the Dene, but you can't put things to sleep in terrain, so it's not really a thing. Um, what do I have so far? I have four. And indeed, he's a maybe, but I think that those four are good. I think you pretty much got it. You got to bring the second Snorlax here. Although I do have two, so I guess I'll bring the main one. And then I think I think you'd be dumb to not bring Snorlax, but I have a second one just in case. So that's fine. No risk there. So Snorlax, Wolves, Manetric. Well, Snorlax, Wolves, like half the team, but you have to be very mindful of the nasty plots. So what I would like here is a Pokemon that's really fast, that hits really hard, that can not be weak to Rotom. Get Wolfie to help you. I appreciate that sentiment, man, but uh, I'm going to do my own thing. Thank you. Um, I, I do play competitive Pokemon, too. <laughs> okay. What's up, Darks? Thank you so much, man, for the love. I feel like people forget. Actually, tell me how Levani goes in, dude. Bro, tell me how 
Lee Vanny goes so in in this battle. I think that's the answer. Lee Vanny's so good. It, it walls both Rotom and Rotom Mo and Rotom Wash. You legitimately outspeed them both because they hit 86 base speed and you hit 90 or 92. And you can one shot Leaf Blade or X Scissor on both of them, I think. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. That's really good. Dedenne, you deal with pretty well. You always have Lantern. You always have Lantern. Crook as a lead is really solid because you can just Brick Break on the Pachirisu. You can't be nuzzled. So if he sets up screens, it's fine. If he U-turns, it's also fine. You just Brick Break every time. So I think he just U-turns out and you get a free Brick Break off on something. What's up, Prime? Tropius is solid because he just resists everything. Um, in terms of Rotom, he, he completely walls Rotom. He four times resists Bolt Beak. I don't choose the nicknames, Zayatsu. Thank you, Prime Luke, for 17. Um, my Rotom Mo answer? Again, I think I think Lee Vanny is so good. Uh, but Snorlax is another option. And I have Indeedee to change the terrain if I need to. What's my Dedenne switch in? Rising Voltage, Dazzling Gleam, Grass Knot, Volt Switch. Do I have a better Dedenne? Oh, I mean, I always have, I always have Lamp. So he can't Volt Switch out. You might have to take a Grass Knot, but you can always Volt Switch yourself. This is very good. I feel like we have very good Pokemon here. I think so. I think so. Okay, so let's prep for this battle. Let me take a look at what everyone has for stats. So your max HP, max defense, that's fine because you're going to be my primary Drake's ult switch in and my lead against Pachirisu with Brick Break. Your max HP, max defense, probably want to switch you to special defense. So let's plan for that. I'm going to make you specially defensive. So we're going to actually swap you to Calm. So you're Impish. You're going to be Calm. And we'll switch your stats. You are Naughty, but we want you to be probably gonna make you max speed um and timid uh that's a bit annoying so i actually no we're male and dd we're faster i was looking at the wrong one so male and dd hits 95 base speed so you definitely want to be max speed because that allows you to outspeed everything minus the dene which is timid which means your terrain goes up anyway so we're gonna be timid on you so let's do that okay fat daddy is sassy he's specially defensive which is good. That's that's fine. We used Fat Daddy against Surge the first time. And I don't think he's EV trained though. You have no EVs. Your max HP and the rest I have to fix. That's fine. Your max special defense, which is also fine. And you don't have any stats either. Okay. And you need to be max speed as well. So what are you? You are a Levani, And you hit 92 base speed, so you need to be timid. Ah, uh, Jolly Rabbit. Fat Daddy and Fatterstein coming together. Never broken before, by the way. No one has ever broken through Fat Daddy and Fatterstein together. Just want everyone to know that, okay? No one has ever, ever in the history of competitive Pokemon been able to break through Fat Daddy and Fatterstein when they were on the same team. And the evidence of that is that it's just never happened. Okay, so I need to clear your defense, and so we're going to make you special defense. I need to clear everything but your HP, so let's just get rid of all those stats. Although I'm probably gonna put it in defenses, but that's okay. And speed, you know, yeah. Okay, so you're good. Fatterstein's good, and Rory's good. Let me change Rory to Blade Master, which is so good. Uh, we are Impish with Intimidate, Volt Absorb, Psychic Surge, Harvest. Is there a better option other than Harvest? Solar Power is a no. I do wonder what an ability patch does for you. It doesn't have any effect. I think Harvest is fine, because you can just give him, a, like, a Citrus, and he could potentially get it back anyway. So it's fine. You're good. You don't need to be trained. And you have Blade Master, so you're good. Blade Master is super cool, dude. Blade Master gives you a higher crit ratio, and it buffs, uh, like, Blade moves or something to that effect. 
Okay, so now I just gotta train these dudes up. So let's see who needs to be trained first and foremost. I don't need you to be trained, and I don't need you to be trained. You need max special defense. You should probably have max special defense as well. So I'll drop you two off for now, and let's just get these two maxed in special defense. Which means I need the, let's do by name. And we need the special defense power item, which is this one. I'll give that to you. And then they just grab my macho brace. I'll give that to you. Let's get these two maxed in special defense. Are you gonna max stats for E4? Oh yeah, 100%. All right. Yeah, every Pokemon on my team will have perfect uh, IVs and stuff. I'll have to take the time to grind it all. So I, I might do a little grinding off camera. Um, but it won't be anything crucial. If I catch any Pokemon or anything like that, I would do it on stream. But if it's just me farming money and EV training, I'm gonna do that off stream because there's nothing that can happen wrong. <laughs> like, if, I, if I'm just EV training, nothing can really happen, so. Um, all right, let's put you in the front. I think we just need one battle for special defense. Maybe two. Okay, so he's maxed, and you should be maxed as well. Yep, okay, perfect. Do you need Spadef on the croc? Uh, no, I'm gonna make him physical. He's gonna be mainly for the Drake ult. Okay, so, and the Pachi at the beginning with Brick Break. Okay, so we'll deposit you in a box three. Actually, I probably don't even have to deposit you now. Just kidding, you're trained, so it doesn't matter. You're good. Okay, so you need to be max attack and max speed, and you need to be max speed. So let's grab those two. So I want max speed on you and max speed on you. So let's get that power anklet going, and then let's give that macho brace another run, which was on you, I think. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do speed now. Really excited that we get to use this Levani, bro. Never would have thunk it. This is actually a really good matchup for Levani. If there's ever a time to use it, it's right now. It completely walls Rotom. Like both Rotoms, it's super good against. Excited about it. Let's do speed. Oh, I should have put the other one in the front. I don't think it matters though. Nah, you can't Swords Dance and Sweep, uh, but you do wall those two, so. All right, so you're max speed and you're max speed now. So now what I need is I need, actually, you know what I could do? I have a, a fun idea. I'm gonna give you the power lens. I'm gonna be lazy. I'm gonna give you the power lens for your special attack and I'm gonna give you the power bracer for your physical attack. And we're just gonna battle against speed again. It'll get us there. I don't have to move things around. It may take three battles instead of two, but. Okay. So he's actually max max and he's max max, perfect. All right, we're doing it. All right, let me grab the rest of the team. We're gonna tweak some moves and, and things of that nature. Get them all trained up to the proper level. But otherwise we are in great shape right now to get this battle in. And keep rocking. You have a lefties, I assume? Yeah. Okay. So I just gotta get these dudes trained up. So let me throw down some lucky eggs. I got three of them, which is good. Uh, yeah, I have three Pokemon that really need the levels. So let's do some maxing out here. Get everyone up to level 85. And then we should be good to do this battle real quick. This should get us some serious levels here. Power squad right now. Oh, Fat Daddy learning synthesis is kind of hype. Here's Sacred Sword, which we don't need for this battle, but it's cool. It is a Blade Master boosted move. Sixty 
seven. No, we don't want solar beam. And that's gonna get us to 70. So now I'm just gonna put someone else in the front. I don't pick the nicknames, guys. So if you have questions about the nicknames, it's I don't pick them, it's from the chat. Okay. I don't think anyone's getting any more moves now. Okay, let's put Fat Daddy in the front because he's the lowest level. All right, we're closing down 85 here. Probably two or three more of these. And again, this surge battle is an optional battle, but for me, I think it is worthwhile. I really want that light clay. I didn't get it last time. Uh, ordered six tubs of shy splash. Shame you don't get a commission. Uh, not us. I actually do. So it's a little bit different. Um, so full transparency. When you guys use code A drive, I obviously receive a percentage of the sales. I can't tell you what, but I do. Um, but when you guys, um, if you guys buy shiny splash in general, I get what's called a royalty for shiny splash. So anytime shiny splash is sold, I do get uh, a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but you know, if everyone picks up shiny splash over the course of a long period of time, it's pretty solid. So, okay. Yeah, I, I get a royalty. So when you use my code and you buy shiny splash, that's what we're talking about. But now for the BOGO, um, I just, like I said, my focus for a while has been just encourage people to get shiny splash in general because we're trying to get that can flavor. So it's less about, like I said, trying to get, um, you know, me trying to get, whatchamacallit, like my code used and stuff. I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm mostly just trying to, trying to get that can flavor. So I do have expanding force. So let's start with that. Cause that's really solid um, on you. <sighs> I gotta fix a lot of these moves. I want earthquake. Whoever that is. I want Roost. He already has it. All right, I need Roost. I need Earthquake. Earthquake on you over Heavy Slam. You can learn Earthquake too, let's do it. I'm not gonna use Bad Tantrum. He's got, what does he have? Is X Scissor Leaf Storm. We need Leaf Blade, not Leaf Storm. So we want Leaf Blade over Leaf Storm. Now, I do need to see like what we're looking at here. If I bring in Lee Vanny at level 85, I'm gonna just run a couple quick calcs. Not max attack, max speed, and we are jolly. What's my speed? Uh, 257. So I'm a little slower, so I'm like uh, 25. No, we're like a 23, 23 speed stat. So what I need to see here is how much am I actually doing on these attacks instead of just assuming. Um, if I'm Blade Master, which is really solid here, if I'm facing off against a Rotom Wash, and the Rotoms are offensive Rotoms, which are good to know. If I'm facing off a level 85 Rotom Wash, Leaf Blade always one shots the Rotom. Now, if I'm facing a Rotom Mo, and I go for X Scissor, I do not get the KO. But if I'm Life Orb, I do get the KO. So we want to be Life Orb. Yeah. Uh, and I'm still faster, right? Even with that bad stat, or do I need to fix that stat? Oh, I'm calculating the wrong thing. I don't even need Life Orb. Hold up. I calc the wrong thing. Yeah, I always KO anyway. Just kidding. I always KO anyway. I don't need life form. So we can run Assault Vest actually on Lee Vanny. They hit 254 and I'm at 257. So I outspeed Rotoms, both Rotoms. I'm never gonna outspeed Pachirisu. I'm never gonna outspeed Pachirisu. Am I ever gonna outspeed Draco Zolt? Probably not, cause he's Scarfed, right? I think he's Scarfed. I think he's Scarfed. So I'm never gonna outspeed Draco Zolt anyway. Cause he's scarf, so it doesn't matter. So I actually like a soul vest on this guy because the soul vest means that I can switch in to the um 
I can switch into the the Rotoms a little bit better. And if I'm not Blade Master, does that reduce the power of X Scissor? It does. So Blade Master boosts X Scissor too. That's cool. Okay. Leave any's legit, dude. All right, so I need my assault vest now, which I think is on you. We're gonna give that to Levani. We'll start there. So Levani's done. Levani is jolly, max attack, max speed, X is her sacred sword, leaf blade, swords dance. So again, this thing just comes in against Rotom, wash, and just clicks leaf blade, and comes in on Rotom, mo, and clicks X is her. So if they nasty plot in either situation, you're good. And you always outspeed it, so that's not an issue. Um, Allah gets the leftovers. Pretty sure if i have any i do okay um let's look at fat daddy so fat daddy's sassy with harvest so we're gonna actually give you citrus berry because there's always the chance that he can utilize it twice and two citrus berries is worth way more than leftovers would be he is harvest with air slash leaf storm earthquake so earthquake good leaf storm meh air slash also meh roost good i like toxic protect maybe um, or I like, I mean, I'm sure he learns Leaf Blade on level up or something. So let's just take a peek. I don't have any, oh, I do have mushrooms. What do you learn? Anything good? Body slam. Why are your moves so bad? Okay. Let's check your egg moves. Cause I, there must be an egg move. Pokey Rider. Uh, let's turn off double battles before I forget. Let's check egg moves. Leech Seed. Ooh, I like Leech Seed. Draco Hammer. Ooh, I like it. Over Air Slash. And I like Leech Seed, too. I like Leech Seed a lot. Yeah, I really like Leech Seed, actually. That's super good. Even without Leaf Blade, because you just Dragon Hammer anyway. Yeah, that's cool. So, Ulla is Eerie Impulse, Scold, Paracharge, and Thunder. All right, so let's change that, right? So, we want Ice Beam on you, which is 13. That's for Drake's old, just in case. Get rid of that. We have Scalds. Is there anything else I would want? I mean, realistically, he's like an extra answer to other stuff. So, Parabolic Charges and Bags, you get a little healing. Eerie Impulse is kind of dope, but it's probably not that good. Maybe like a Toxic would be better. Or even Flip Turn. I kind of like Flip Turn on him. Okay. So, you guys are all good. You three are good. And then, what am I doing with you? So, you're Impish. I'm going to give you Leftovers. If I have another one. Yep. And I'm going to teach you Brick Break. Actually, I should probably teach a few Pokemon Brick Break. I think I stall out the Brick... Like, I stall out a lot of stuff anyway, so it shouldn't be an issue, but I just want to be safe. I'll probably give two Pokemon Brick Break. Oh, you already have it. I'm going to give it to you. Because I really don't need Facade, right? Like... Nah, eh... Facade is good, though. I think having it on Shady is fine. Because every time Pachirisu comes in, you just go into you just go into this guy here. And then you legitimately just click Brick Break every time. He doesn't need to do anything else. You're good, because you're just uh, Facade Earthquake, Sleep Talk. And then you're Offensive Psychic Surge. And you are legitimately just clicking Expanding Force. I think that's all you have to do is just legitimately set up terrain so they don't have terrain and then just click expanding force. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's what your role in this battle is. I probably actually give you a focus sash. That way I can always bring it in and I can always do that. Although scarf was kind of hype too. I kind of like choice scarf because then he always comes in, changes the terrain and then he just gets to fire off massive psychics and he's going to outspeed the Manetric as well. So in a late game scenario, it could be really valuable to have that option. Yeah. And you hit 270 speed. So if you're 270, that means you're always outspeeding Dracozolt. And I would actually venture to guess that if you send out a mail in DD at level 85, 
and you're max special attack and you have terrain and you go for expanding force and you have psyche terrain out you do so much you do 78 to drake is all and you do 94 to 111 to manetric bro what wait how did that do No, dude, you legitimately do 91 to 108 to Drake Azult. Oh my gosh. What about the Dene? What do you do to the Dene? Oh, you one shot the Dene? Oh my god, this thing is so good. This thing is so good, dude. Okay. Um Yeah, our, our special attack stat is bad. I'm just gonna go fix that for this battle. I think I have money for it. Uh 49k. No, I need I need more than that if I want to fix it. All right, let's just grab a little bit of money since I'm here. I'm going to need to grab more anyway, but this is the final battle that I need to ultimately be ready to rock. So let's just grab our little bird here. Let's go grab a little bit of money. Let's fix a few stats up that I need to fix up, and then let's jump into our surge. If I had rocks up, I think... I legitimately think it could sweep, but... Like, Indeedy <laughs> legitimately just clicks expanding force against everything. What is that? Uh, Rappellini, thank you so much for the love, by the way. Appreciate everyone coming through. If you guys are new, be sure to hit that follow button if you haven't done so yet. Fall on the stream is always free, guys, and I stream pretty much every single day. Uh, we have gotten to the Elite Four, for those who uh, haven't been, you know, watching the whole stream or whatever. We are at the Elite Four, and I am doing one battle against Surge, which is a rematch battle. That is so I can get access to the Light Clay. I believe that I'm going to try to utilize dual screens in the Elite Four. I'm not positive, but I think so. And then what I will do is I'm going to take a few days off of Radical Red. And the reason why I'm taking some time off of Radical Red is just so I can spend the time to prepare. I really don't want to have to do this again. Uh, I, re I really want to beat it on this attempt. So I'm going to take the time, a little bit of a breather, and then I'm going to take a little bit of time to prepare. Really make sure I have everything down pat and I feel comfortable with the idea. Last time I rushed, um, I rushed it last time. I didn't. My, I actually found my document of notes last time and I had like very bad notes like I need to have notes that Explain what to do in every scenario what the calcs are all that stuff and I just didn't take the time last time so um, Very proud that we made it to the elite four two runs in a row our first two runs of this game. That makes me very happy so Yeah, I will say I think we have a decent box of Pokemon to work with not sold that I have everything that I would love but I think I think the team that I'm thinking of right now is very strong a leaf for tomorrow bro does no one listen <laughs> I swear bro I dude I don't even know anymore man I legitimately just go off in this whole dialogue about my plan for the week and how I'm taking time off and I'm gonna t take the time to repair and then the first message I read is a leaf for tomorrow bro bruh it must be it it must be a meme it must be uh yeah trust uh shady actually won his radical red yesterday guys uh his 31st attempt so very big props to shady a good pal of mine of course i was i actually watched the finale i watched him beat it um and he had a really really smart strategy i mean uh he brought a couple of the things that i had thought were very good slow bro is one of them insanely strong um he did not bring weather he brought a lot of like bulky defensive Pokemon. Um, and he utilized Will-O-Wisp very, very well. I don't have those same luxuries because I don't have a fire type. He brought two fire types. I don't have a fire type. So I don't have some of those same luxuries. Um, but what I do have is I have a Mega Metagross. <laughs> I have a Mega Swampert and Rain. I have Meganium. He had Rillaboom. Rillaboom is very good though. Uh, Rillaboom is very, very good in this, uh, in the Elite Four. Um, but I have Meganium, which isn't as good, but is still very good. So we'll have to figure it out. I mean, I'm probably going to use my Meganium. I think I looked at the matchup this morning and I feel like dual screens Meganium is actually very solid in that context. So he brought Sunny Day in the first fight. Oh, really? That's interesting. Well, like I said, I'm going to, oh, what am I doing? I'm going to spend a tremendous amount of time preparing. I have some really good ideas. Sunny day is really good. I'm planning to bring rain though. So for me, like I, I don't mind having the rain up, but that's pretty smart. Okay. So 
Let's see here. Where's my lucky eggs? And damp rocks. There's my damp rocks. So we're gonna sell seven of those, and then I just need to find my lucky eggs, which I passed twice. Lucky egg, 17. Okay, that's plenty of money now. So let's go grab this last thing I gotta do here, which is drop you off and grab who am I grabbing? Indeedy, right? No, Levani. All right, so I just want to fix Levani's stats, or I'm sorry, Indeedy's special attack real quick. Because I do, I may not use it, but I also may, so I'm not sure. When will be the Elite Four stream? I don't know the answer to that yet. Later this, later next week, I would say. Special attack, okay. Let's see if there's any other stats that are super worth doing. Um... Gosh, how did you manage to play this long with these stats? Uh, God, this indeed is so good too. Um, I'll I'll do your special defense just because I'm here. And it's a pretty bad stat. All right, I think we're good for surge. I think I'm ready for surge. So let's talk about surge. So I lead Crocodile against Pachirisu. I get an intimidate, which is going to nullify the impact of his nuzzle. I'm sorry, it's gonna nullify the impact of his U-turn. If he screens, I just Brick Break, but I don't think he screens. Like, I think he just U-turns out on turn one and I just get a Brick Break on something. There is this situation where I could potentially Earthquake the Pachirisu on turn one, um, but it could result in me having to have screens up and I'm not necessarily sure I want that. I think I always Brick Break just to be safe. Although I'm pretty sure the AI is gonna read Brick Break and just U-turn. Again, I don't know. It's not really a big deal though because I do have leftovers. So I'm gonna get health back. U-turn's not gonna do a ton, it's a Pachirisu. Then I have Ola here, which has Volt Absorb, uh, Flip Turn Skull, Parabolic Charge, Ice Beam. This is leftovers. This is designed to switch into primarily like Dedenne, has a backup answer to a couple other things, very specially defensive. Fatterstein also very specially defensive. This is for Manetric. Uh, we've got Chauffeur here, which is um, Choice Scarf. This comes in and it can set up Psychic Terrain and then just expanding force everything. Uh, we've got Fat Daddy here, another Pokemon really designed to deal with Manetric and some of the other bulky Pokemon like the Dene, even though he can't hit me super effectively with Dazzling Gleam. And then Rory here. If I can get Rory in, we can do some serious work. Um, does Rory learn U-turn in this? It doesn't normally, but if he does now, I'd, I would actually like that. That could be worthwhile. He does not. Okay. I think, um, I think I'm just gonna rock with the battle. I... I guess my Drake is old answer is a little weak, but I have a Volt Absorb Pokemon, so like, I have to just trust that that is good enough for this battle. Because if he comes in and, and he he wants to always click Volt Beak anyway, so if he comes in, I, I basically can always wall it. And then if he goes for something else, I do have a Crooked Owl which can switch into Drake old so I have options, right? It's not like we don't have options. So let's slice this down here. Let's go over here. Oh, there's a Mega Stand. Kaparajite. All right. Okay. Surge rematch, all for a light clay. Who would have thunk it? All right, let me update the layout. The Blade Master Lee Vanny making its debut. The Psychic Master and Didi making its debut. The really fat Storlax, who's always on the team anyway. The Bananasaur that hasn't been on the team since the first time I faced Lieutenant Surge. The E-Drive's Army's favorite lamp, Lantern. And last but certainly not least, Crocodile, which has been amazing on this entire playthrough. Shout out to Crocodile. Nice. 
that's our squad, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I'm gonna run through the team one more time in my head and like in front of you guys. Attack, break, break, wicked blow, earthquake. That's all it needs. Calm nature, leftovers. A little nervous. Maybe I should have made him physically defensive, but I think it's gonna be okay. He just has to have bolt absorb, which he does. We've got Fatterstein here, which is sassy, thick fat. Facade rest, earthquake, sleep talk, very good. Toxic could be worthwhile, but it's fine. Chauffeur with choice scarf. This thing's a beast. Actually, does. Nah, he would he would prankster, so never mind. Um. Oh wait! No, he could still do prankster screens in terrain. Okay. And then Fat Daddy. Which is a beast. Fat Daddy, baby! Alright. This thing's a monster. Okay! I'm doing Surge. Oh, and Rory. Rory's really cool, man. I'm excited about him. I think he's gonna make his mark today. I think he's gonna make his mark today. All right, this is a big battle against Lieutenant Surge, ladies and gentlemen. I need this light clay. Kid, I was hoping to see you again. My Pokemon and I haven't forgotten that crazy ride we had. We're roaring to give it another shot. All right, so as long as I don't lose, right? Like, just don't lose. Pachirisu. Yeah, last time I did not have a good matchup against Surge. Okay, so he's level 84. We get the Intimidate off. That's gonna drop his attack stat. I think he just U-turns. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna Brick Break. He does just U-turn. Okay, so now we know. He never wants to set up screen against Crook, right? But it's negligible damage because I'm gonna get a free Brick Break off on something. It's probably not gonna do much. It's gonna be the Rotom Wash. This is fine. I get a Brick Break. That's a little bit of chip damage. Um, His play here is, I, I, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure he does Nasty Plots. So I just go Rory. Thank you, Zony, for 25. If he does attack, it's not a big deal. He would Hydro Pump. He does Hydro Pump, actually, which I'm a little surprised on, but that's fine. This is why we're a Soul Vest. So I can eat that. He's Life Orb. Now I click Leaf Blade. He could switch, but I think it's the play. He does switch. Okay. Into what? Because I'm going to chunk whatever it is. It's Draco Zolt. Okay, that tells me he's going to want to Fire Fang me. Um, that tells me he's going to want to Fire Fang me. I'm pretty sure he fire fangs here. Pretty sure he fire fangs. I'm gonna go out and Ulla predicting the fire fang. If he dragon claws me, I may be in a little bit of a predicament, but I think we'll be okay. He bolt beaks, what? Okay, so he is always bolt beaking, now we know. Okay, he has to switch because he's locked in a bolt beak, so I just go for flip turn. He does switch, I get a free flip turn. Probably goes into Rotom. Yep, into the wash Rotom again. This is fine, I get a free flip turn off. That's A-OK. -okay. And I get to go into Rory once again. Although, I could go to Chauffeur and start firing off. No, I think you just go Rory. No reason not to. And we will click Leaf Blade. He stays in this time, so we KO the Rotom. OK. Rotom's down, one down. I get a crit. Uh, we do have higher crit chance because of Blade Master. Okay, what's next? It's Drake's ult again. He bolt beak last time. I'm gonna make the same prediction this time that he either bolt beaks or he fire fangs. I don't think he dragon claws. Yeah, bolt beak must just do enough that he can KO there. That's how strong bolt beak is. I just flip turn again. Every time I just get to do this. He probably goes into Rotom. There he goes Pachi this time, okay. So now we know Pachi is always going to, um, if Crook is out, he's always gonna U-turn, which means I get to Wicked Blow this time. Although, maybe I still Brick Break. Maybe you still Brick Break, just to be safe. Um, Because I really don't want him to set screens, but I guess I can Brick Break the following turn if he screens. So, I think you Wicked Blow. He U-turns. Okay, so I get a free Wicked Blow off on something. And you don't want an Earthquake, because if he goes Rotom Moe, which is what I think he's going to go to, it's not very good. Yeah, he does go Rotom Moe. Okay. This is going to be a lot of damage. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so now we predict the um, Leaf Storm. And you just go Rory. He could Leaf Storm. He could Nasty Plot. I don't think he hidden Power Isis. He Leaf Storms. We four times resist this Leaf Storm. And we have the Assault Vest, so we're fine. Um, I always get the KO no matter what I go for here. X Scissor is definitely the best play, though. Although Dedene could come in on the X Scissor. It's pretty unlikely. I think he just X-Scissor. He stays in, so we'll clear the uh, Rotom slot. 
What's up, AS Drive? Thanks for the nine, man. Thank you, Zony. Okay, this is all going very well. Here comes Drake's ult again. We've seen this interaction multiple times, so we're just gonna continue to assume he does the same thing. Um, and until he proves me, until he proves otherwise, I'm just gonna keep doing this. He does bolt beak again. Um, so this is really good. I just get to continuously just flip turn every time. Yep, he's gotta switch it out every time. Probably did that now. Now it's Pachi again, okay. He's running out of switch chains though. He doesn't have his earthquake switcher now. So now I get to go shady and earthquake. <laughs> And I have a little bit more leniency if screens go up because now I'm not necessarily concerned about the KO on the Rotoms because I already got those. So both Rotoms are gone and I just click Earthquake now. He reflects this time! Mind blowing! I kind of don't want to KO him right now. Uh, he might live. He actually is probably going to live this. He does live it. Okay, perfect. Now I break free. Yeah, he tries to reflect again! Get out of my house, you stupid rodent! Sorry, Sejon. Alright. <laughs> just keep breaking his walls, bro. Got my house, you dumb squirrel! All right, here comes the Dene. This is, it would have been really nice um, if I was able to, to hit this thing. Okay, so basically the play here, right? We get a little Brick Break chip, it's not a lot. He always, I think he always clicks Dazzling Gleam here. We just go Fatterstein. And we just click Earthquake, right? Because now he's in a situation where when he wants to Volt Switch against Snorlax, he's not gonna do any damage. He's got a Volt Switch, right? Or he's gonna Rising Voltage, but I'll get the KO. He's not gonna do that much with this. It's a Dedenne, bro. There's no way this does a lot. Thank you, Rai, for the 16. I did a little more than I thought it was going to, but I don't think so. Uh, this should KO, it's a Dedenne. Should KO. Yeah. Okay. Now it's just Manetric, Pachi, and I think Drake is ult left. I don't think I killed the Drake is ult today. Thank you, Rai. Yeah, those three. It's the Drake is ult again. Almost certain my dude's gotta go for the, uh, he's gotta go for the bolt beak again, right? He's gotta go for it again. He does, okay. <laughs> I don't wanna mess that up. All right, I think this time we, um, I think this time you just ice beam instead. Yeah, he, he doesn't switch out this time. That's why you ice beam now. I had a feeling, I had a feeling. I got a feeling. Ooh, ooh. That Draco's off is dead. He saves it. Well, there goes Pachirisu then. Should this should pick it up? I think. Lantern is bullying the Dracozol. It is. But now he brings. Oh, he, I don't bully that. All right, so I'm gonna go shady this time because I wanna. Um, oh, he U-turn into Manetric. What's his play? HP Grass. You wouldn't HP Grass me, would you? I guess he can. Fat Daddy. HP Grass, okay. I just Leech Seed. He stays any Volt Switch. I get a free Leech Seed off on whatever comes in. As long as I don't miss, I get um, I get a KO on Pachirisu or a KO on Drigazolt. I don't miss. That could have been a bad miss because it could have put him in a situation where he clicks Dragon Claw instead. And I don't really have the best Dragon Claw switch ins, but we're good. I get the heals. Um, I don't even need to worry about the Pachirisu setting up screens now, but I'm still gonna play it just to be smart. He U-turns again into Manetric. I just go Fat Daddy every time. He hidden powers, I leech seed, he flamethrowers, I leech seed, I roost, so he doesn't beats me. Just sit here and roost all day. You can't touch this. Found and I'm not earthquake into the Pachi, dead. You're not seeded anymore. I'll seed you anyway, because I'm I missed. I got it. Roost. I win. Earthquake. Thanks for the battle, Lieutenant Surge! Oh! That's how you do it. Yeah, give me that light clay. Give me that clay. Let's go! Okay. Let's go! Alright, so... So basically, here's where we're at, guys. So, I have now done all of the things that I think I want to do up to this point to prepare for the Elite Four. If anything changes, I will do like a short little segment on stream this week where I battle whatever I have to battle and that'll be added onto the Elite Four battle like series. But I'm going to take some time this week to get ready to rock for the Elite Four. I really want to spend the extra time to prepare to make sure that I don't lose this time, right? Very, very proud and impressed on the fact 
that we got to the Elite Four two times in a row on Radical Red Hardcore Nuzlocke. But none of that matters if I lose, right? So we don't want to lose. We want to win. Where's my my default Pokemon that always goes in my party while I drop everyone else off? Um, so I have I have these boxes. These are the Pokemon that I have in my my PC to work with. Um, I think if you were to ask me at this moment what team I'm bringing, it's these five plus something. I don't know what that something is yet, but I'm pretty sure this is what I bring. These five plus something. Could be Machamp, could be Umbreon, could be a Moongit, probably not a Moongit, could be Reuniclus, uh, you know, whatever. But I, I really think these five give me a solid bet. I think that they're all really good. Um, so I'm leaning towards these five as, as my starting point, and then I really like Intimidate, so like a Gyarados probably moves up on the list, but I really don't want a third Pokemon. Crocodile actually could be something that I consider just because uh, having having that opportunity is really strong. Any roamers this time? I'm gonna try to do it without any of the roamers. I don't have a Master Ball. So catching the roamers is a little awkward. Um, so I'm not really sure how I wanna approach that, but I think this is what we're doing. Make sure to buy healing items. You really don't need them, but I may have to get PP up. So like I said, there may be some grinding that takes place. Um, I'm gonna grind for money and things like that off camera, but again, none of that is really any sort of risk. So there's no concern there. And I'm gonna train up the team off camera as well. But again, everything will be, you know, continuity with with what we've done and what we've had so um i want to thank everyone for tuning in today I'm, i really appreciate everyone tuning in we did a much earlier stream today um thank you guys again i'll keep you guys updated for radical red uh, in terms of what's going down with that over the coming week um i hope to plan i'm gonna enjoy my holiday tomorrow and then i'll hopefully give you guys an, an actual um like an actual date and we'll aim for um you know we'll aim for like uh you know, maybe Wednesday or, or Friday or something like that. One of those days. I'm not really sure. One thing I really would appreciate though, guys, is this is very important. Uh, if you saw today's episode of Shining Sword, you'll know that I'm actually about to start a new um, series. And I actually am going to go record it in like two hours. I'm going to go to the grocery store, get some stuff for tomorrow. And then I'm actually going to... What's up, Ultimate Dude? I'm going to record that today for tomorrow. So if you have any suggestions... This is your chance to give those suggestions. Head over to my YouTube video, leave a comment. I'm gonna go through all the comments in like an hour and then make a decision. Then I'm gonna record the first episode of our new Let's Play, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a blast. Saw three and a half hours of Radical Red. We did great. I lost one Mon today, but it wasn't a big deal. So I will take those Ws and I will see you guys in the next episode of Radical Red in the next stream, which I don't think is tomorrow. Maybe I stream tomorrow, but it's most likely that I stream Tuesday. And if all goes well, there will be a massive announcement on Tuesday. So keep your eyes and ears peeled for that, okay? Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive. Peace out, guys. Enjoy your Memorial Day. And thank you to all the, the people who, um, you know, fight for our country and our freedom. And, uh, yeah, thank you if you're in the armed services, the armed forces. Thank you. Okay, I'll see you guys. Bye. Go check out Shining Sword and leave a comment so I know what you guys want. Okay, bye.